God, I'm too tired. Wake <laughs> it up. All right, so we are live. Welcome back. Hi, hi, stream. Um, so we'll kind of just get right into this. Uh, Cheese, do you want to explain what happened last time as a few people were not together? Well, let's see here. What did we do? We, uh, we went into a tower. We fought some face huggers. And... We, uh, we we had a slight incident with a ladder and a rope. Uh, I think our rogue is upset with the old old lady, but I don't know why that would be the case. Hmm. Hello. No, there was some attempted falling Drake. Don't let him fool you. He tried to kill me. I would never try to kill my teammates. Never. Unless I was paid enough money, in which case, maybe. It only Did I say that out loud? Damn it. Like I said, if I get paid enough money, I might do something. <laughs> Alright, but yes, what happened, uh, they ended up coming out to this uh, that tower that was up in the air that was on fire, or they had flame up top. Um, they started to traverse it a little bit. Uh, they got back to the second level, um, well, Patrick, uh, hippity hoppity all the way to the third level. Uh, and then some wind started to, uh, uh, so let's see, who was it? Knights and Cheese attached themselves together with a rope. Um, and as they were trying to walk around the outside of the tower, uh, Cheese decided to uh, kind of eat herself off of the tower and started to fall. And then I believe it was Knight who cut the rope and uh, ran and shoved his, I think, dagger or glaive scimitar into the rope. I used the scimitar to stop it from falling. So basically, she's hanging by my by my choice. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I don't think she's ever agreed to getting tied to a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if we're looking at this that map, I just showed you where the arrow currently is, that's where you guys are, which is about 160 feet up above ground. And then Pat Rug is one level above that, which is 240 feet above ground. Correct. That is where Pat Rug currently is. First thing she's is going to do is going to try and grab the ladder. So there were creatures in here? Uh, uh, yes. To so, climb up or not. <laughs> To climb up or throw the ladder down. <laughs> it is up to anyone's decision now. Yeah. So on the uh, the first ground, the ground floor, they uh, there were some nice spiders that they tried to set on fire, but it did not uh, go as planned. And then uh, when they got to the the second floor, um, there was some sturges that they fought. There's a, like a nice pack of sturges. And then um, they yes, they did. 
And when Petra uh, leaped up, he did see uh, there was actually one uh, Terra folk, which looks like this. It looks like that one guy from X Men. Yes, since the, the the party was making a bunch of noise and loudly, uh, this guy decided to uh, fly and and find out what the noise was. Hey, do not do not do not blame the rest of us. Blame the one person who yelled as they went eat off this side. I don't think she's yelled anything. Is she? I thought she just was like, ah, like just jump. Ah, she just stone face, doesn't really give a damn. Hip! It's off. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think she is a scream. It would be a screamer. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, but yes, so this is where we are currently standing. Uh, Cheese is, uh, with this picture again, uh, Cheese is. Uh, with the rope against the ladder, and uh, yeah. Mm. Is uh, are, are you gonna put Sven and uh, Sonora up on there? I will. Yes, yes, I do. Apologize. I like to imagine uh, yeah. they're just uh, now climbing no. out of that hole, going, going. Okay, we're finally caught up. What happened? Just- Sees the sees just the old lady hanging down on the ropes. Like I'm not gonna touch that with a ten foot pole. <laughs> All right, there you guys are. Uh, I think seven up needs to be a little bit bigger. So Pat is the floor below us, right? Above, I, us. The, above us. Oh, above us. And he saw a uh, one of those winged creatures. Uh, fly off because he was hidden up against the, uh, the the wall. Estelle, do you want to pull her up? Because I fear if I do, I may just cut the rope altogether. Yeah, I got it. No, no, no problem. Don't know what just happened, really, but I support this kind of. Okay. So Jesus is gonna try and grab onto the ladder. All right, let's see if you can grab onto that. Let's see how well I do. Fresh day, fresh time, no uh, disadvantages or advantages yet. Uh, so yes, she kind of just uh, starts to swing off, and as she's she swinging back in, she just meh, right onto the ladder. And I just start climbing the ladder back. I'm gonna start climbing the ladder down, downward, just trying to figure out what's on the bottom, what's on the lo- floor lower. All right, so you get uh, you go down about twenty feet. And uh, you notice that this led that the ladder does end and breaks off. Nah, I see. Mm. That's annoying. I start climbing back up the ladder. <laughs> uh, I'm going to advise the uh, other two, um, to Boxy that we need to start using rope and pitons along the ledge because it is very windy and then start hammering them in at different sections to make a guide rope for the people who aren't suicidal. <laughs> and you guys do happen to hear a, a screech like Meh! as uh, this, let me throw him down over yonder. Starts flying over, so he's he's kind of flying out. Uh, you do hear him screeching, and uh, we'll kind of do this because he's going to find out what the problem is over here. Interlopers, uh, pet rug. Yes. Oh, sorry, not Petro. Uh, Akin would be first. Okay. I'm just moving up. I'm going to kick Cheese back up. No, just kidding. 
This is Jolt Firefinger. I'm just moving forward a little bit, trying to figure out where that screeching sound is coming from. What is that okay. mysterious ticking noise? What is that sound? Did they inspect the hole already? E, uh, the, the hole came up. Yeah, yeah, that's where they climbed up from. Snape. All right, uh, I am going to make myself as small as possible, and take the take the uh, take the hide action. So I'm going to do this button. Here you go, and do okay. this button, and do. All right, so he is invisible. He's going to zip out here, see more about what's going on. Get him out of the way over there. All right, so yeah, he comes out. It is uh, it's dark out, and uh, I believe he has um, dark vision. Yes, no, he does not. Uh, so he would not. So he would see uh, some f uh, flames coming up a little bit uh, up above, but uh, that's about it. Because uh, you guys are kind of out. Uh, up in the jungle, and it's uh, clear out here. Is it magical darkness, or did we walk through the night? We waited, or... no, we waited till nighttime to infiltrate the tower. Yes. Yeah, they were. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so when they were heading to this tower, it was middle of the day, and there were uh, they did see a bunch of those uh, terror folk uh, flying around. So and they hid in the grass and waited until it was darkness. Was that when we faced the bee holder? Uh, that was before Sven left. Yeah, that was I, before. I made a friend come and fight him. Yeah, I remember now. And then they took off. Um, River Mist. Uh, uh, he'll come up and he'll be like, I agree with you, my next friend. Let's tie ourselves and piton these things down. Um, just show me where. Uh, I'd say every five feet we'll use a piton. So every uh, edge of the square uh, leading from uh, right behind Stale to the next ledge, to the next ledge, just all the way around. And just kind of like tell him to keep it nice and nice and tight to put them in there because I feel like someone is going to get blown off or either yeeted off. So Why would uh, you think such a thing? You stay All on right. your ladder till I get ready to deal with you. <laughs> All right. Um, do you guys have a lot of pitons? Because he, he only pulls out three. Uh, let's see. How many do I have? Yeah, I have ten. So I can, yeah, I can, I can easily just hand them over to, if you want to take ten from me and just hand them to him, it's fine. All right. So he will, uh, so if, he will uh, use his action to uh, hammer down the pitons. Okay. Uh, step. Uh, I secured. Down. Am I wrapped and then piton to the ground? I'm I'm tempted to, but no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm just asking before I start moving. So if I'm not secured, I'm gonna wait till. Yeah, yeah I'm I, I wouldn't think you're secure. I'd say we have to secure it. Are you going to let us secure it just instantly, or are you going to let us secure it piece by piece? Oh, it'll be piece by it, it, will, yeah, it, it takes an action to smack it down. I'll say he could also wrap some rope around it at the same time. Okay. So You hear, so you hear distantly, uh, cheese going, what? Yeah, I... <laughs> uh, so I'll take that whole action, and then is there going to be a movement restriction from, from that, or is that going to be the whole turn just to get you... Uh, secure. So, if you want to get yourself secured, uh, it would. I would say it would uh, be half movement if you want to go slow, because this wind uh, does. You know, you're 160 feet up, so this wind can come and smack into you and push you off. So, if you want to go half, if you want to go half movement, uh, we could we can rule it uh, like that. All right. So, I'll be secured, and then I'll get to here. Yeah, and then you can. I'd say secure every 10 feet then instead of five. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. 
It's like so like we can use uh river mist to secure the first one and then let stale use his action to secure the second one okay so that so uh when i get to here i'll secure the the rest of the line to this point and give them a thumbs up to the <laughs> come on <laughs> over and, thumbs up <laughs> and, and, and as you're going around you you can look up and you hear those beating wings and uh, you do see that guy flying i'm like uh, okay, no. <laughs> I'm like, this is gonna point like, yo, big dinosaur thingy. Uh, Chult still sucks, so <laughs> let them know that they are kind of fine and they should be using ranged weapons because he's high above us, right? Uh, yes, he is about 50 feet up right now. Okay, so I'll let them, I'll play, make a five sign and a zero, like 50 up, and maybe they'll get that, and that'll be my turn. <laughs> I don't know what his stealth problem is with his force. I've been having the hell of a time, honestly. Just saying. <laughs> I might. Um, I will. Uh, I'm just gonna like stay here and keep uh and, and just and just watching like uh, relay the information to uh. River Mist and Flask of Wine, as well as Aachen and Mool, uh, to take their time as uh, the wind is dangerous. As uh, Aachen comes up, I'm gonna like, should we pull her up? Referring to Cheese, because Aachen is the uh, the biggest and strongest of us. We must. Let's get her up. All right, hearing these loud beating wings come flying over. <laughs> so he, he will fly down his 50 feet to right, and he'll be right about yonder, uh, even with the, uh, the platform. So I'm going to sidle on over here, and I will ready Eldritch Blast if I see any of these Terra folk. I will blast them. All right. And uh, the flask of wine, she says, I don't need no stinking rope. And uh, she'll come right yonder, and she will uh, ready her short bow if uh, an enemy comes around. My girl. Mass Cheese is going <laughs> to continue f climbing up the ladder. Okay, I see what it is. Uh, uh, one second, guys. Uh, Ingorgio, uh, Brandon, uh, you were sharing your screen, and if you guys move anything into that box with him, it'll share what you have as well on VC, just so you guys, that way everyone's aware. Wait, what's going on? What? Do you see VC? It says uh, shared by Brandon. Yeah, yeah I, I just moved that those. box aside. <laughs> yeah, I, I closed those. How do you close it? Uh, I kind of forced it. I put it into a different uh, window. Uh, I then force closed it. Yeah, I see it. I force closed it right then, too, as well. Yes, yeah, I had to do it twice. So uh, I don't remember how far down I am, so I'm going to probably do a dash action to just climb as high on the rope at, on the ladder as I can, hopefully to the top. Hey, Brandon, you're finally here. Yay. Uh, yes, you would be able to. You would, you would get uh, almost up, and then you see uh, River Mist kind of uh, standing right there, so you'd have to wait for him to move to get up there. Get out of my way! And I think it was an action to uh, uh, to reach all the way up, so I can't ready anything. Right now, at the... Uh, 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 actually, actually, I am going to use a bonus action to cast Shield of Faith on myself. Just... Oh, wait, no, I already have it on. Never mind. I'm good. All right. Um, let's tap around. Um, 
No. Pet Rogue, do you have Sirenscape running in the chat? Uh, I have it running. Yeah, I hear jungle noises. Oh. Okay. Well, so, me... I'm lame, I don't. I, so I have it running, but I can't hear anything on my end, so I need one second. Okay. What square is a pterodon in? Uh, he is a large boy, so he's uh, kind of like right there. Um, let me get uh, this uh, Azil in here with Sirenscape because reasons. No, apparently there's no sound on stream either. Technical issues abound. Man, I was thinking of looking into uh, the streaming stuff, trying to figure out how to make all that work. And I don't have it, but uh, I had a mobility in another card, but I don't have it anymore in my inspiration stuff. But I know I had another mobility, but I don't know where it's at. But I might have to use that at some point in time during that. <laughs> jet. I could just jet across and hold a line, and then maybe that'll help everybody else. Because mobility doesn't uh, proc opportunity of attack. <laughs> just run by him. He's like, don't mind me. Just yeah, like, ah, the wall. And I'm going to do this again. I mean, if y'all think that's a, a good idea, I could try it. You know, you know, two people like, I don't need that lot of two fans. <laughs> I mean, okay. fighting him with his advantage outside floating around. Well, I don't know. His his hands, his his feet are probably far more dangerous. than. You don't arms. got no, like, T-Rex hands. He has a giant dinosaur beak and then probably huge talons. I have, I have a big head and tiny arms. I don't know how well this plan was thought out. Now, if we had T Rex heads as a hands, I'm just throwing that out there. Ah, uh, snappy, snappy. That is a Yu Gi Oh card. Uh, I will name one lefty and the other, other bitey. How's it going there, Petra? Um, it says I am connected to the game, but because you use, because we, because you know how that works. Uh, mm -hmm. So, like, the online player doesn't want to swap accounts for me. It's really annoying. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, so I'm going to hit uh, this button. You might have to reactivate. I do. Cool. Oh, that's why. Because my player, whoops. Hey guys, I didn't update. Welcome to me being the problem. Mm. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Oh my Lanta. In the meantime. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, we'll, we'll come back to the top around the next time then. So should I use the mobility card and just run across? Do you think that's a good idea? Just take the line? And then secure it. That'll Here's what it. I suggest you do. I suggest you take a running leap. <laughs> Grab it, swing back this way. <laughs> right at right at the on the rope. Take everyone with you. There's nothing that can go wrong. All right. So Pat, or let me know when you're good with that. Uh, Akin, we will start back with you. Killer? Who? Me? I would never. So I moved up. I stepped down a little bit. Grab the rope with one hand, my axe in the other. Okay. Let it come flying by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. throw a sound out. <laughs> Great. 
gross. Did it have to be that one? <laughs> yes. The answer is always yes. Cool. Well, it is working now. Uh, do you have any sustained music? Just so I can double check my... Uh, yep, there we go. Cool. And it's going to the right audio source. Stream should be able to hear that just fine. Yay. Uh, I can actually boost that a little bit. Yeah, Caesar said he heard the vomit. All right. It's all fixed. Cool. Uh, and Patrick, it is your turn, sir. Yes, um, I will do a hop over here, and I'm going to be very interesting, I promise. Uh, I'm going to wait, because I am by <laughs> myself here, and I will take a stealth check and take the hide action and okay. attempt to do these things. So, I have the hide effect still on. There we go. Pass. We will be stealthy. Crash a window. Like a mouse. <laughs> and at this point, there are no light sources outside, correct? Correct. All right. So, River Mist. So, um, as you guys are kind of kind of sitting here against this wall, y'all hear this kind of music playing. And uh, floating down, like really subtly, um, you see uh, your your buddy Clyde. Uh, he's wearing he's wearing you know a nice top hat, uh, nice vest, and he has a little name tag that says Clyde. Uh, and he's as he's getting level to you, you see him kind of uh, squat and do a poop in his hand and. Uh, we have a bunch of targets, so let's see who he throws it at. How does he produce so much poo all the time? Well, they had two hours since the last one. So he's going to, he's going to uh, throw it at Stell. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God, dude. <laughs> and Stell, from you, I'm going to need... So he would have blow it into the dinosaur. So he would have advantage with this. So I'm gonna need a deck save from you. If you could dodge out of it or that, uh, it will be with disadvantage. So Where's my crossbow? Can I shoot Clyde? So as as he flings it at you, you're just subtly able to dodge out of the way and they go splat against the wall. And then he just continues <laughs> floating down. I am gonna kill that fucking one. And River Mist is like, what the hell? Uh, Step. <laughs> no monkey should produce that much poop. Um, so I guess, man, I don't want to block everybody. I guess I'm gonna have to get. Can I get to right here? Like I don't know if I'm in the wall or not. Yeah, you can. You can get up there. All right. So I'm right here. He's still too far away to hit. No, he is ground level, uh, floor level with you. Oh, yeah, I'm taking Barbara Bush. I unshield Barbara Bush, and I swing. <laughs> Max damage! <laughs> and, I mean, that's really all I got. So I'm just going to swing at him and probably hit his foot. <laughs> he like, Meh. I am going to uh, move fast, and then, uh, then right here, I'm going to use a snippet of rope to secure Aachen to the rope, so that they don't have to hold it with their hands, so that they can just kind of guideline themselves. Sweet. Along the rope, that's how I use my action and stuff like that. And then I'm going to tell uh, River Mist to move out of the way. As uh, since uh, uh, cheese is on the way up, I'm just gonna pull the scimitar free. I would like my rope back once you're up here, old lady. My rope. Oh, 
God damn it. <laughs> oh, and sorry, River Mist would have backed. Uh, she, he would have backed up. I do apologize. I was looking at Flask of Wine first. Uh, so yes, uh, during his turn, he would have backed up. And then I'll call out to her at the end of my turn and tell her to, to secure uh, the next piton so that Stell can manage the action. So let's look back. Is anyone coming? <laughs> it's a it's... very tight ledge, buddy. So this guy's going to roar. And then he's going to uh, try and bite and claw you a couple of times. Uh, seven. Don't worry, still, I'm huff, huff, on my way. I'm just old. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, the way we have it set up, we're only moving half movement, correct? Yes, sir. If, if you want to go full movement, you can certainly try. But if the wind pops up, you'd have to make a duck save to avoid from falling. And that's a long fall. I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. Uh, ready in action. Hopefully somebody will move and we can get going. Stell, you're holding up the line. Push forward. Oh, okay. Thank Yeah. Thank <laughs> So she'll come up here, uh, teetering, right, teetering on the edge, and she will uh, uh, drop. Oh, she will like toss her short bow behind her and pull out her short sword, and will attack this uh, this dinosaur-looking guy. Short bow right off the side of the wedge. Jesus. And then uh, she will do it one more time. I will kill him. Ha ha. And he will scream out and, and he will uh, just fall back. Uh, and he's, as he's falling back, uh, he cries out even more. Well done, my darling. Thank you, thank you. Does she uh, see the body fall? Uh, She's on the ladder, so. Yeah, I would say you could see it. Uh, you have dark vision, yes. I do not have dark vision. You, then you I would do not have see a candle it. on my shoulder, though. You still would not see that. It would be too far away. Wind blow ever, the candle. Ever burning candle on my shoulder. <laughs> For Corey, please. That's Ladies gentlemen. my armor. <laughs> um, so you... uh, we should be able to secure at least three more pecans to make it an easy track around. Um, Just quickly. Yeah, for now, for now, you guys are actually out of combat. Mr. Cheese is going to finish climbing the ladder and go, Well, that wasn't it. All right, well, there's nothing down there, sadly. Let's just get gonna, going. Uh, I'm just going to follow I'm just gonna uh, catch it. behind Aka and stuff like that. Allow River Miss and them to pull up the, the rear. Master Chi is going to go half speed and just start walking on the ledge. Going, eh, I don't need no stinking rope. Can I untie my rope from her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I just want my rope back since I've got my scimitar. So I'm just going to hey, take hey. my rope. Nope. No, no, no touchy. No, no mine. You, you, you attached the rope to me once. I'm not letting you do it again. It's my rope. I'm I will eat back. you off this ledge. You're fighting on a windy cliff. <laughs> I'm just untying you. Shut up, old lady. Don't touch me. I saw what you deal with those kitties. Don't make me pull over on this side of the ledge. Don't worry, Arkin. Like, let's just keep going. I should throw you. I'll get here, I'll wait for to get closer, and then I'll head up the ladder. Or do. Is there more over here on this other side of the ledge? Or no? It is more one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a wall. <laughs> yeah, I like good. how we let Stell go first so far ahead like I did with the crocodile, and then we come up behind. That's why I'm waiting for you guys to catch up until I can get up the ladder. Yeah, I'm, I'd it's say you know, it's Poor Padrog is just up at the top of the ladder going, well, I hope no one not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pedro's just kind of hanging out by himself. Uh, to be fair, we're we're just waiting for Flask uh, to move. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go step beyond the uh, step, step beyond the ladder, please. Thank you. Me first, old lady. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, why didn't uh, uh, this portal says? All right, I'm right now. Let's just climb the ladder and move on. All right, so Stell, are you going to step or stay where you are? No, I'm gonna walk up. I'm just. I was lost. In it. Uh, I lost. There it is. The image. Can't, English is hard this morning. Yes. Words be hard. Hard be the words. Um. I mean, I'll just do whatever I can to, like, squish and hopefully clear room. We're all up here. Uh, there's a lot of people up here, so... Go for it. I will, I'm just gonna I will, climb, past, past I will climb up the wall <laughs> so that I can I leave room in I'll my just, I'll just, I'll just pet my shoulder, saying that Pat Rowe can ride if he needs to. <laughs> Hop. Oh, uh, so, stop before you get there. <laughs> Uh, so it, it, when you're up in here, um, you you feel some heat coming off, and it smells very nasty, um, like like death. And you would see still from where you are, you could see uh, two more of those guys that we were just uh, having fun with. <laughs> <laughs> You've hey. got these. Ah, lunch. <laughs> or is it dinner? What day is it? It's midnight snack. <laughs> Let's have second breakfast. <laughs> Alright, where am I? Where am I? I've lost myself. You're on the other map, I think. Where is she at? That is what I want to know. <laughs> the bottom. The oh, there. There's she's. Where's Pat? Uh, I'm by I see that rug. We're in a token oh, yeah. stack. Yeah, uh, me and Knight are okay. token stacked right now. So. Yeah, yeah, he's right cute. on the shoulder of the kitty. Very cute. Uh, uh, strategically, I'm going to tell Stell he should take and uh, corner the one on the right with the light, and I'm going to suggest that Auk can go left. Okay. So Stell, you would uh, you would actually see. The one over here kind of uh, stick up his beak and start sniffing in the air. And he will kind of, like, um, you ever seen, like, Jurassic Park, uh, I think it's three, when the raptors are kind of, like, calling out? Uh, you will see him start to call out. Oh, shut oh. him up. Oh, I'm going to run straight there, like, right away. Cool. Uh, then we will do this. Do I make it in? Oh, do I make it in time for him not to make like the full call, or mm, he would he he'd call it just a little bit. Um, Cut off his beak. <laughs> and then, know. as you're running, you did see that other guy kind of like start to kind of unfurl his wings. He's in a cave. He ain't going nowhere. He can't fly. <laughs> nice. We're not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with us. Exactly. I'm going to uh, run. Oh, run up. <laughs> I guess Pat Rook is coming with me no matter what. Because <laughs> he's on my shoulder. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to move myself here. To assist uh, Stell if I can. And then, because uh, I can't really get around him. Uh... Do I have any? No, no, no. <laughs> I need arrows. You're whittling arrows this whole time. There we go. Mold's turn. All right, so I know Cheese wants to get up in there, but there's room. One, two, yep. So I'm going to go here and sort of move myself up back against the wall to allow them to go by. And that lets seven up. Well, after flask. All right. So the flask, she would, uh, she did, and she did retrieve her sword. Short, I would say that um, she was fine. I'll just call them back to them to tell them to secure the the retreat if possible. Oh, okay. Because she was going to come in and, yeah, and help. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like we need our guides more than we need 
So, so, so secure, the, secure the retreats. Okay, so she will stand guard. She will stay here and look out with her short bow drawn like she owns the place. Only because that, like, the thing tried to call out, so. All right, so this guy will take a couple of attacks onto Stella. This is where, and this is where Stell realized he done fucked up. Not necessarily. <laughs> Mounted combat. I'm, I'm all for it. We'll, we'll rush together. We can both get like. He just have to back. <laughs> like you can multi-class into a rogue. I'll teach you well. <laughs> oh my god. So- <laughs> so, you, so this guy, uh, Mo, you could see him. Uh, he's kind of just like looking around, and he's kind of like readying himself to attack. So he's going to ready his bite attack to the first person who comes within range of him. All right. So now, seven up will zip over here. He is still invisible, so he's gonna, and he's going to shoot. At number 20. These poor Petra folk don't even have their own names. So sad. Alright, so. And they're an it's elder too. Failed its save. So it is. Did it fail it by more than five? Oh, what was the DC? It was 13. Uh, he rolled an 8. So, 4, 5. He, ro- he rolled, uh, he would have failed it by 5. Nice. So, he is poisoned and unconscious. He falls Ooh. asleep. Oh. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, is this one of those sleeps where you hit him, he wakes up? or? And then 7 up will move back. Uh, let me see if I... I believe he's asleep as long. I believe that he is uh, asleep. Until as it long takes as damage support. or another creature uses its action to wake up. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Uh, if you want to throw the poison, you did. All right. Uh, so River Mist will get to the edge of the ladder and say, uh, Come on, old lady, move so I can get up here and secure the place. I'm moving, I'm moving. Hold your horses, damn cats. I will. Stella will take Barbara, Bur- Barbara Bush and attempt to shove it down the dinosaur's face, because that's what Barbara would want. And Barbara misses. <laughs> in such tight quarters, too. She's not good in tight spaces. <laughs> that's her turn. I'm not sure that I could hit anything or that thing without hitting one of my comrades there. Do it. It's worth the risk. Do it. <laughs> Wake up. To be, fair, to be fair, I'm around the edge. I'm okay with this. I'd be out. If cheese were there, I'd take the risk. Not for the. No, no, for do the it. Cheese can take her. anything. <laughs> do it. Fireball. Crossbow. Uh, Just poke it with a stick. Throw the actual cross. You're also in a spot that just does not help the cheese. Are you kidding me? Sorry for whoever I hit. <laughs> um, let's see. You would have failed it by this. Um, roll, roll a d4, 1 and 2. No, roll a d6. 1 and 2 will be Petra, 3, 4, Knight, 5 and 6 will be uh, Stealth. Wait a minute. We're off to the side behind a ledge. Come on now. Oh, wait. Ah, it's just there. Yeah. I thought Hawkeye okay. moved up. It was four. <laughs> no, you're good because his. No, you didn't... actually, you didn't feel it too bad, so it could have been worse. So now you're good with damage, actually. Dude. Front. I'm disappointed. She All right. Trick shot. So I have. <laughs> I have been, uh, you, my mount has served me well. Uh, <laughs> bring me into battle. Hey, you can jump on uh, Stealth Shoulder and attack. <laughs> I sure can. <laughs> and 
and that is what I'm going to do. So, uh, <laughs> it takes half movement to dismount, I believe. And then... <laughs> cool. And I will jump onto the wall, like basically with my climb speed and basically jump onto the wall and hang there. And then I will reach out and uh, slash. Well, I'm going to attempt to hit this with my hammer, which is that correct? That's not correct. Ooh, something has changed. Ah, it does not have flames. Okay. I will attempt to slash at it with my uh, meat cleaver. No, with my carving knife. There we go. I don't know why I have advantage. Because you're above it? Uh, you still have hidden on you. Oh, well, yep. let me but, ruin. But you, uh, you still would have hit it even with a 7. Oh, a 12 would have hit too? Yes. Oh, cool. Well, then here's my uh, first carving knife damage. And then I will attack with the second. That's with your new personal best, Patrick. Offhand. <laughs> and I shall snub you a second time. Five damage. And I will stay on the wall, Master Cheese. Ah, uh, you're in the way, Arkin. <laughs> I can stab him where you're standing, Arkin. Ah. Alright, I make it here. And Of course she's waking the one up. Actually, uh no, I can't reach him because Arkin is in the way and I got a wall. So I'm gonna wake up the other one. Because why the hell not? Alright, so as you're standing there, you do see Second one. A second one. <laughs> of course. Works for me. I'll just stab the one that's not asleep. Wish that beach. Stay him. And another bonus action. Ah, that's a shame. All right. I tried. And anything else I can do? No, not really. Uh, this one doesn't like to get hit, uh, so he will start to cry out, uh, and then he will attack you. <laughs> Kaka! He, he, go, he, he goes, Kaka! Kaka! <laughs> Maul, I think you're about to get pincered. I like to imagine she's just standing here while this thing's just trying to claw at her and just missing horribly. It's like, what, is there a fly near, back, near me? What the hell are you doing, youngster? <laughs> I feel that we are tightly wound in here. Uh, can, I, can I thrust the... I don't, I don't think I can do that. Let's see. You grab anything. Step tell. Do, do it. <laughs> You have allies nearby. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a sneak attack. Still slots are burned. I don't even think I have a potion left. So. You have I'm a sneak attack. Just to see here. Let's see. Uh, what do I have left? Anything? Anything? Out? We'll take. Uh, I'll have my. You could take a dagger from my backpack and toss it at him. That's the only. <laughs> I have a dagger. Like, like, is it just the same roll to throw it at it? Yeah, it's can't funny. he move into his square and then step back? Yeah, so you can move into a square and attack, and then you'd have to move back. Uh, it would get an hop attack on you. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll just throw. <laughs> I'll throw a dagger past uh, Stale's head. Ah, uh, just fine. step in. Fine. Just step in. Oh. Just make sure you kill it. All that good stuff. Step in. You just. I, you I'm just looking to try to kill it. Just make sure you uh, kill it. That's all. It's not that hard. There's a little, the, okay, like the little I'll sword. In. Okay. I'll no, no. In. Actually, thinking about it, I like the idea of you throwing a dagger in the back of Stell's head. It would have sneak attack. <laughs> you would not see it coming. <laughs> uh, I guess 
I hit, but it's I mean, not saying it. It hits. Yeah, it says it above. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, it just took a few seconds there. Well done, Knight. That's the deadliest thing you've put down. So do I just step forward now or step back? Just you, you can step forward if you want because it is dead. Um, and then, and and here you would see. No, what do you see? Here? Another one. Probably. Uh, you do see a chimney. Uh, you see the edge of a chimney, like a uh, like you uh, like well, like a fireplace that you can kind of climb up. Nothing to the left. Is it still just wall? Uh, from where you are currently at, uh, you well, you could see some. Part. You could uh, see, yeah, okay. you could see the full part. Yeah, I, I meant the uh, thing above my square, just to make sure. Like, I just making sure it's just full wall, not just like a little like offshoot. <laughs> yeah, it's just a wall. Uh, I will. Uh, let's see. So five, ten. It's all ten. I'll move to here. All right, and moving here, uh, you see uh, a couple of cages. Uh, two of them are empty, or one of them is empty. Uh, but in the other one, uh, you see a uh, an Arakakra sitting in the cage, uh, and he's bound and gagged. Okay, so I have five more feet of movement. I will move up and in my turn there and ask him, Are you awake, my friend? Are you okay? Uh, and he'll, you'll see him. He's trying to talk, but he's gagged. We have our prisoner up here. Deal with what you have to back there and make it up here quickly. You just said deal with a prisoner? Why would you kill a prisoner? I'm with murderous bastards. <laughs> I'm in a terrible group. So I see Cheese attacking something that's not the sleeping one. Um, slightly surprised he didn't attack the sleeping one. But I'm going to move forward. From here, can I see 18? No. How about now? Uh, that would you're be kind of in a corner. Uh, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> I like to imagine he's just kind of like bumping up against the arc and going, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I can see. Move. Lift your arm. Please fire something around both of their heads. So I'm going to cast a little bit of a spell here. All right, so it's just this. And on a save, half as much damage, okay. Well, that'll kill him. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, half? That was half? <laughs> a mind spike? Explosion. So, so, cheese, you see uh, all of a sudden this, this guy kind of grabs his head and he's like, Mah! and then his head explodes. Well, you didn't have. You didn't have to have an aneurysm for missing the fly flying about me. And what is wrong with these kids? A uh, flask is standing fast. Uh, this guy, he is chilling. He is bound and gagged. The elder is sleeping, uh, and he would take some poison damage. He would take. Ooh, he takes a nice bit of poison damage. Now, does he wake from the poison damage? I don't think so. Uh, and River Miss will finally get up the ladder, and he will also stand fast. Hey, Stell, you might want to make sure the kid is not killing any prisoners. I, I, I think we might have a problem. The pro... You jumped off a ledge, and this is the problem? 
I don't see the issue here. I, I'm not threatening anyone's lives. I jumped off of my own volition to get, grab onto the ladder, you know, spe, se, spe, save some time. That's one thing. You, you, I don't want to have any prisoners time on our, that we could have saved because a murderous kitty wants to kill it. You really need more alcohol in your system. <laughs> I do. I need some. I need some goddamn whiskey. <laughs> so I'll move over here and ungag this. Uh... The bird? The bird man? Uh, he is locked in a cage right now. Oh, dude. Shit. Was there anything on that body that was over here? There's. Is there anything in this room as I walk up from this spot over? Uh, give us a, an investigation. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. Giant arrow pointing down, going hidden room this way. Well, so you see uh, hanging on the wall right there um, a set of keys. I will grab those keys and then I will move over. <laughs> I will unlock this thing and ungag the bird man. Okay. And bird. And he says, uh, Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Oh, um, so what day is it? Tuesday. <laughs> I've been trapped in here for so long. I don't know. I'm so hungry. Do you have any food? I'll give him rations and my uh, my water. We have a chef. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, but he doesn't need to know that yet. I don't know if he's going to be here for a long time. I don't want to give him the good I mean, these birds could taste like chicken. I mean... Uh, Yo, that, so, leaves. I would like to point out that these are sentient creatures. They're clearly living in a tribal formation and taking prisoners. So, they are I don't sentient. See the <laughs> what is analyzing this that hard? I don't see the, the issue here. Hard. They're dinosaurs. They're hostile. <laughs> we'll eat it. That's not even a hard analysis. That's just, like, face value. <laughs> <laughs> they have they have some kind of intelligence, but they, they they do seem hostile. So to me, it's a it's 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 like hunger versus uh, convenience. Yes, but would Jeez, you eat no a, problem. would you eat goblins? Is the question here? Yes. <laughs> like, that's yes. Cheap. So I'll, hell, I'll hell, we made an alcohol out of one. Don't you remember? Yeah, we made a hot it. <laughs> we made a so tur turnip at ale with goblin juice. <laughs> Once I hand him that, I'll ask him if, if he's okay, what's he doing here, like, the, the general questions. And They're I'll just having up. a civil conversation. Meanwhile, she's just staring at this dinosaur who's oh, dying slowly from poison. Sleep, so, sleeping, yeah, dying so from poison. So I'll, I'll just ask, pop those questions and see what's going on and move back, and then um, that'll probably be my whole turn. All right, give me two seconds, because I accidentally deleted that one, so give me a second. He combusted, just like the other one. Brain I mean, Ar 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 like, said the wait, wait, Brain did, really. When he fell, did he land in the fire? I mean, he could be on fire now. It's he not on fire. Cooks himself. Uh, okay. And he is also poisoned, yeah. Ah. Is this person in the other room? I'm checking things out now. I heard other voices. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you do see Knight in, I'm assuming, Stell uh, talking to uh, something, but you cannot see it yet. So they're around the corner. We have an Aya Kakra that I took prisoner uh, here. What is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Nefer. Um, but it is we're still in combat. Never. I think we're just waiting for Cheese to just like rip that thing's head off. Oh, I was waiting for I was waiting for my turn. I was gonna stab it while it's asleep. Oh, I was going to stab it while it's asleep. <laughs> so okay. Oh, it's so civilized. These guys are in tribal area. Oh, stab. Well, I would like to point out that there's a big difference between 
killing them and butchering them and eating them. Like there, there is a clear line here. So, yes, I'm yes, sure that tastes just like chicken. The world. And there is these are all tomato and potato, tomato and tomato. And like, if you can, I, talk I, I to bet it, it tastes like go chicken. for it. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> So, yes, Aachen, were you going to do anything else? Okay. I think she's thirsty right now. Oh, she's talking to... Is that Baby Sven? No, that is... Cousin Sven. Ah, Cousin Sven. Okay. Um, up, up, down. No, oh, no, there she comes. Back. Sorry. Financial drama. No worries. Uh, were you wanting to do anything else? Nah, I'm just going to pretend like cheese doesn't exist because every time something happens with cheese, then... We're all screwed, and so I'm just ignoring you because I don't want to know what's happening. Fair enough. I feel hurt. <laughs> We're fighting a deadly enemy. She's trying to kill the enemy, and you're just going, I don't, I don't, I don't trust cheese. Let, let cheese deal with it. Okay. Cheese is the wild card. I will she hop is. for 10 feet. Simple. I will move through space for double movement, and then I will move here for 25. Now, if this hits, I am within 5 feet, which makes my attack an automatic critical because it's unconscious. Uh huh. Beautiful. So, carving knife. Ooh, it is. So, I will hold the shift. Steal the, steal the kill from cheese. Press the button. <laughs> And I do not, Aww. but I did eat damage. That's so close. And now I will hit with my offhand attack. And do. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Now we can eat. You stole the kill from Cheese. I did. I've, everyone was trying to steal from me. I feel attacked. You guys are <laughs> monsters. I mean. I'm, like ju I'm just playing the game as an innocent bystander. I haven't done anything wrong today. Just throwing that out there. Today. Uh, and we are out of combat with us. Uh, Bastard Cheese is going to start uh, start chopping up the dinosaur man and, you know, get no. ready to cook him. No, we are Chicken. not. We are not. <laughs> I will Why? point out, I will point out that I will point out that, yes, he is sentient, and also he is poisoned. Okay, I'll eat the other one. <laughs> <laughs> the one that he's just stepped over to get to that one. And Sven, no, there's no X. I'm also going to loot their bodies, see if there's anything of value. Well, let's see. Who knows? I could use these wings to fly! Talons. Use the talons. Be able to make some kind of arrows out of the talons. You know what I found really funny though is all my groups forget to loot the monsters. I just laugh. There's so much loot that they just walk by after they kill stuff. I'm just like, really? No one wants to loot. Wait, you have stuff? to kill them loot. I always I mean, try to loot. Yeah. I think but, the only one I haven't really tried to loot was the uh was the face augers. Alright, so we have 14 gold, 60 silver, and Azerites. A black velvet mask stitched with silver thread, a a censer, an everlasting quill, uh, a glove of Nurgal, which as an action, the glove's index finger becomes inky and functions as a quill. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, a rapier, a scroll. Let me see right quick. Uh, Sven. I'm going to hoard that in my face now, an everlasting quill. I'm a quipper. Uh, Sven would know that this is a uh, scroll of armor of Agathus and a sling. I'll detect magic. 
And the only thing that would have been magical, it would have been that scroll. But since you can read it, you would know what it is. What was the scroll again? Armor of Agathus. Ooh, a fun one. As soon as I can find it, where did you go? Well, Cheese is taking the glove. Of course. I on she's going to have fun with it later. There's a pot yeah. somewhere. And, yeah, everything's in party sheet now. All right, there it is. All right, there's also a, a, a Minotaur plushie. I forgot about the plushie. <laughs> yeah. The... <laughs> he saw From it. last time. Yeah. I, I have a picture of said plushie. Let me, uh, let me grab it right quick. I won't lie. When you said censor, I was just thinking censor bar. So it's like, oh, we got a black, we got a black square. <laughs> just put it over cheese's eyes. So Ma will take the Minotaur, Minotaur plushie for a seven up. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, the the brass horn is the cats know what that what that is. I love how these dinosaur men had a rapier. Jeez, you can only oh. take a couple levels of druid. And that's what the fleshy looks like. I'm actually kind of tempted. And if you look at it, you can see. Uh, if you look at the bottom, you can see uh, it says the word Koba on it on its uh, foot. Koba? That sounds like a deadly disease. Uh, eh. I'm going to hand uh, the rope that I retrieved from uh, Cheese and be like, uh, Path of Fall, do you think the chimney leads up this time? Uh, I don't quite know. Let me take a look. And I will do the hop. Can't you do that as well, kitty? The kitty going to... Our friend sticks to walls. Yeah, can't you climb walls? I can, but oh. it's better oh. for the little stealthy thing to look and then see, and then I can go up behind him. Kitty so, more, and also, so Kitty you're gonna, can't climb, you're gonna... but Kitty can't jump. <laughs> not stealthy group, if you had <laughs> no. Nope. Like, like uh, Knight is playing to his thing, like strategy over everything else. The rogue is sending someone else to be sneaky. I love it. Sending the chef to be sneaky. I got to <laughs> throw that out there. Our rogue is throwing our chef. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, a let me sneaky. ask you. Cheese, if Pat Rug died, would you fry him up for frog legs? I would. Okay, so there's the difference. <laughs> Still being civilized. I am very civilized. I, I use everything. I, I want to know, like, what deity you have that totally just allows the butchering and eating of sentient creatures like it's nothing we won't talk about that like, i my god i let my god decide for me <laughs> all right his god is to, be fair, to be fair they're not really if it's an enemy and if it looks tasty i'm just throwing it out there have been a lizard man. That would have been it. While Pat Rick is doing that, I'm going to move up a little bit. Nefa, you said your name was. Uh, um, can you tell us what happened? That it tastes uh, like creatures. Is this your home, or were you kidnapped from somewhere? No, I was. I was going down the river, and these ca they came and flew by and caught me and my family, and uh, we they brought us back. Uh, we were heading back home. And then they said they ate the rest of my family, and I am fear that I am next. So you are the last of your family, then? The rest of my family, yes. Uh, my my clan, they are still down in, cur in Curcible. So, so your family was murdered and eaten by these creatures? Yes, they were. You want to eat them back? No. I'm just throwing it out there. I mean, you, fair, all is fair and all that. Look at cheese and like, 
some kind of I mean, they're, they're cannibals. I mean, someone says that's a bad thing. Uh, Look up at the at the hole. They're not cannibals. They're just they ate sentient creature. That doesn't oh, make them cannibals. Being a cannibal is that makes them a predator. <laughs> So we're just being, being more of a predator than they are. You're making, you're just make giving me fuel for this. I, I'm winning here now. It's not cannibalism if I eat a dinosaur, man, is it? <laughs> the point wasn't that it was cannibalism. The point was sentience. Yes, that good creatures don't just kill, butcher, and eat their enemies. That's just not how. That works. <laughs> that's a savage, if you ask. That's what a savage is. But it's the way, I don't know. Fair is fair, like you said. So. Yeah. I'm gonna try and figure out a way to climb up this chimney. And so, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Nefer. Um, he will first. He's going to profusely thank you for freeing him, um, and he will let you know that there are at least eight more of those on top of the peak, but I don't know how many there are now. Only eight? Oh, that's not too bad. And and I, I, I thank you so very much. Um, I, I urge you to visit Curse of All, which is my home, and petition uh, our leader, her name is Ez Ashara, petition her to perform the dance of the seven winds. Uh, this dance is part of a magical ritual that will grant non-flying creatures the ability to fly. Would have come in handy, no chance. For how long? It just depends. I don't know. The, it is. It does not get used very often because we are not very trusting creatures, but... I, I don't blame you after, after heroism. I don't blame you after your entire family was eaten right in front of your eyes. I'd probably have a hard time trusting people too. Door, she's like, God, you got to bring it up. I'm going shit? to uh, I'm going to tell Nefer that he can go to uh, the entryway. We have two friends there, also uh, to Boxy, uh, that he can regale the, his tale to them and where his village is, uh, if he can help point the, the way so that they can mark it down. Write it on the map so we know where we're going. Yes, yeah, so I will show you on the map. Let me find the correct map. The and map. they will uh, also, like, they will help him, like, if he needs to help go down walking, unless he can still fly if he's not too hurt. And so Curse of Ball um, <laughs> is actually marked on the map. Uh, it, it is down there. <laughs> As, uh, so they will come back, the kitties will come back and say, Curse of all is right here. It is uh, by the needle's bones that we have been trying to get to for some time now. And the yeah, if you're looking at that map, that green pen, uh, a little bit uh, north, east, uh, or northwest, that is where you currently are. Okay, sounds good. Uh, has Petrog had long enough to see how uh, long it is up there? Uh, so yes, Petrog, uh, he did the hop, yes? Yeah, I, I hopped up and I'm stealthily climbing the chimney. Uh, let me give you a stealth check because I have not done that yet. Uh, throwing it into the tower for you. Wabam! Okay, uh, so yes, you did the hop. Uh, and you did the hop, and you uh, you still don't see the top. I will, I will keep on going as far as it, as long as it takes me. All right, so you did the hop one more time, so for 50 feet. And you, uh, you poke your head out. Let me show you that. I'll leave you here for now. I will show you that. Uh, uh, oh, shit, a bitch. So yes, you poke your head out 
right there. And you see, uh, you do see another one of these guys uh, right there. And you see another one right there, but they are sleeping. And it is also very bright up here, like uh, not bright, but there's a uh, uh, nice light coming from up here. So presumably these guys would have to squeeze to get into this opening, right? Could they fly down? Oh, I don't know. Do they look they... like they could fly down? Like, I, I'm intelligent enough, right? <laughs> yes, so this is a, uh, a fairly wide um, um, chimney. So yes, I would also you do say the they one... fly down. I would also say that one also looks, he's a little too self-absorbed in his leg work. <laughs> he, 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 we, does, he does have big legs. We bait them because we have that big that big horn that the cats don't like. And we could blow the horn and bait them to come down this way and the other way in like cold choke points. I have an idea. Let's cut off the head of one of the, one of the dinosaur men and have him pop out and go, "Hey, help, come on down and help us out!" <laughs> wow! Wow! Um, I do not agree with him at all, but I leave it to. I think it's a good idea. The consensus of the group of what we should do. Um, we can at least distract him and have it have just sheer confusion. That'd be well, extremely distracting. <laughs> to avoid to avoid the meta game here, uh, I will. I assume. I guess I'll just climb back down and not and let the others know. Yeah, that's what uh, I was. I, figured I, I was like to there. imagine Master Cheese just sitting there going, "I bet we can use their bodies, well, and use them as a distraction, or at least take one of their heads and have it as a as a hat." So the reason I asked was I was going to roll an attack, critically hit one of them, and then just drop right back down the hole. Uh, <laughs> go for it! I'm not. Much... Go for it, man. If that's if that's what you I got, like, I like I, do it exactly. Yeah, just do what Pat Rugg would you do. Would, you and Knight could do it at the same time, right? And not because you guys wouldn't be seen. You'd both get crit. So could you do it in tandem? In ready action and all that. Yeah. But only one of us. Only one of us would still get the crit. You'd be able to have uh, both of you attack, uh, attack them. So uh, wake up both of them. Have them both go down. Well, uh, because if you wake one up, it's if... going to wake up the other one. If I'm intel, I'm intelligent enough to know that they can fit through the hole just fine. Like, if they couldn't fit through the hole, then yes, it would be like advantageous to wake them up, drop back down, either make them squeeze through the hole or make them fly around to the other opening. Like, that's the that's the idea. Plan. I'll go the other side and wait. It's fine. If that's how you want to roll it, that's. I'm cool with it. But if they can all fit through the hole, then it, it, the the point is like, yeah. eh. Everyone's there. Body You're body fine. Body. We just have to cover it down on the other side. Now, I'm... this is the player speaking, not cheese. Is it possible to throw a pitten into the wall, have a rope dangle down, have some of the some of the crew climb up? Like you said, uh, the cats would have a hard time just jumping to get up there. But uh, if you have, like, Knight climb up, help you help you out with this... Hell, I I just have cheese climb up and just tank all the hits while you guys just stab them to death. I mean, I'm like like I was thinking like I was thinking the same thing as you guys at the beginning. It's like if me and Pat Rogue both went up, uh, and like I readied an action to attack at the exact same time as him, or uh, on the opposite thing, and while everyone else is like making their way, we both literally could I guess dive down. But I mean, like the thing is, is if we if we alert those two. We don't know how many more there are. Like he tells us there is eight, but there could be even more. Yeah, but we're in a choke point, so they can't just come in here. As long as we cover down one side and cover this hole, there's only two entrances. So I would also like to point out these of. guys. I would also like to point out these guys seem very weak. Yeah. So if we have the kitty with a sneak attack come up That's and critically one. critically hit every single one without waking up the others. We, he can just start slitting throats, and if he's careful enough, he could probably uh, kill them all without even waking up a single one. Uh, well, <laughs> I can I'm try. Just I'm just, and if if the worst comes to pass, then he just dives into the hole and comes to the rest of us. 
Del's going to move to the other side. I'm going to move to this part of the choke point and move through everybody because I'm like, I agree with that plan. And he'll just go over here and like, ready. I'm good with this. I'll I'll go up and try it. I'll go up and try to slip through. I mean, I'm a rogue. Why not? And the, and the worst, like I said, the worst that can happen, he just dives into the hole and he runs back to up uh, to the rest of us and we just fight fight a little mini war. That's my suggestion. It, it's also, it is also a point of note that the creatures are probably not, are probably smart enough to know the layout of their own hideout and building. Yeah. So... Yeah. Why would We're they? A... Why would they follow us into choke points just to us. die? I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm but I'm, they I'm know the gonna... layout of their own building. Oh, why like, would they do that? Cool. That's just stupid. Well, they got to kill the person who killed them. No, that's not how it works. Yeah, <laughs> that's I agree. Not how it works at all. We're warriors <laughs> talking about this. We're gonna change the world right here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up the uh, the chimney. Like, what do you want me to roll? So we are climbing in the chimney. Okay. Just uh, Pat Rug has gone I... down to the lower level. By the way. And I would also have have Pat Rug just get a rope uh, f- for the chimney, so we have an easier time climbing up into it. So even if it's just uh, just so the cat can start climbing up the wall, it would still help him get up to that point. From what I understand, the chimney is like what, fifteen feet in the air? Uh, fifty. Fifty? No, no, no. I meant like from where, where like Cheese and the rest of the crew are. Up? Is it like just a, a continuous wall up? Up? How how does the chimney work? Yeah, so the chimney is it's kind of set up like a like a fireplace with an opening, uh, because that's kind of where they cook their meals, and you can climb up from there. Oh. It's just a straight climb. See, I. You said that you, I, I, from, the, from the way you guys were talking about how you, uh, the frog can can jump up there and the cat can climb. I just assumed, hey, it's a little higher up above. Oh, it's, 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 yeah, it's 50 feet up to, to climb. Ah, well, then okay, the cat, so, can, the cat yeah. can climb up no problem. <laughs> I'm going to climb up it. I'm going like, to go up. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to, try to uh, make it all the way to the top, and I'm going to try to eliminate each one systematically just don't wake any of them up <laughs> all right um so you climb up are you getting out uh i will use uh like they're like when i look around they're both still asleep right yes uh yes i will slowly make my way this way to this one and one second Oh, can you reshare that map for screen stream purposes? Oh, I totally oh. closed it, by the way. Damn, right, so, it's a little over the crying. So, looking around, uh, you don't see anything else. I just see those two, right? Yes. I will blend in. Uh, wait, I have cover, though, don't I, with these bushes and stuff around? I was going yeah. like, uh, so I don't see anything else. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. Since they're both laying there, I'm gonna move to this one here, uh, to his neck with my scimitar. Since you said he was asleep, and I'm going to try to kill him. I do. I get sneak attack while they're asleep as well. You'll have advantage on the attack. Yep. So yes. So advantage on the attack. If it hits, it's a cr- auto crit, and then you have your sneak attack, which would also apply. You know what? I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use the rapier. I'm going to pull the rapier instead, and just I'm just going to try to poke it right through the brain. Here we go with the first one. <laughs> Something's going to wake up and just eat me off the side, and it's not cheese. Oh, no one's gonna. Oh, uh, I the damage. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, yeah, no. you forgot the crit. There we go. Now hold shift and roll damage. And don't forget to put your sneak attack effect back on. I would probably just attack again, just so you have the right number of die. Just yeah. because you already did the fourteen damage, might as well do the 
Oh, you healed. I gave it back. Never mind. Never mind. It did not kill it. And it does wake up. And we will do this. And now disengage now and dive into, the, to dive into the ch chimney. Uh, it will do. Oh, let's see. Because I guess you were still kind of doing your action, so. Yeah, well. <laughs> My rolls suck when it comes to initiative. Just sitting at the bottom, smoking, and he's like... So yes, he does wake up. Um, he's currently still prone. Okay. Happen the second time. Do, do like does it wake the other one as well? Uh, well, are you going to stab him again? Mm. As he wakes up, yeah, I'm just going to stab him again. Then uh, I don't get sneak attack this time or advantage. Can I give him my inspiration? You'd have an advantage because he's prone. Okay, so. If you're attacking with melee, if you're doing range, that's not no, 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 it's just rapier still. I, uh, and it's still not it's not double damage with prone, is it? I can't remember. No, it's not. no, no, it's just normal damage. Well, that well, will help. That will help, yeah. <laughs> and it's still sneak attack. <laughs> I don't think it needs it. Pat's got it. It doesn't. So, as as he uh, he dies, he, he uh, falls back down, and or, yeah, he, he falls kind of over, and looking at you, you see where is he? Uh, you do see him looking at you. What can I say? I am uh, a bad kitty. Run away. Just kind of shrug and uh, use my cunning action to disengage and start heading back down the hole. Okay. But I need to roll with that. Anything? Uh, are you going to eat yourself or are you just going to climb oh, down? No, no, no. I'm not crazy. I'll use my movement and stuff. And... Do it for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's 50 feet. That's my head. You'll be fine. She's will catch you. Um, okay, so you are able to use... Uh, how much movement did you use? Uh, for whatever I had left. So you'd be able... Well, how much did you have left? That's what I was asking. Oh, uh, five to move out, uh, stab, and then five to move back in. So what is my movement? And you can also double it because of your kitty thing. Uh, well, I use my action to attack. I don't... It, it would require... Oh, I thought that so was just a uh, natural thing. I didn't realize that was an action to actually activate your kitty thing. Is it? When, when you move on your turn. I've yeah. never played a tracks oh, yet. Yeah, when you move on your turn. So, just, I mean, I guess I, I could double it. I could make it all the way down then if I use it. So, yeah. Yeah, you can I do that. can't use it again. Yeah, I'll just move it and make it all the way down really quickly. Okay. Uh, so, first, I killed one of them. Secondly, Only one? Saw me. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, kitty. At least you got one. Them. Always watching. <laughs> uh, no, we should be hearing them in the moment now, screaming. Um. So River Mist um, is will also kind of sniff up in the air and look at uh, Seven Up. Uh, like seven up has something that he wants. <laughs> All right, well, time to get into position. Still, get the door. I'll get the chimney. We'll just get get ready for any initial attacks and surprises, and we'll just keep ourselves safe. And you guys will hear uh, loud screeching, followed by some more loud screeching. Uh. I am just going to jump over here. I will pull out my uh, crossbow, and I Can will we... ready and action to fire 
if one of these things comes down the hole. By the way, did the Aerocroc, the uh, the prisoner escape, or is he, is he still with us? Ah, uh, he left. Okay. Yeah, he, he flew off. Flew away. Has cheese, pull out my battle axe, and also be ready in action in case something pops out of that hole. End your turn, please. Oh, yeah, sorry. Already is action to wait for whatever comes here. He's taken out. Um, Akin, so Akin, you see a flask of wine. Her eyes go like, um, like big and dark, and she runs over to uh, Seven Up and is holding out her hand expectantly. Uh, I sat here ready to my action, and whatever comes this way, I'm going to take out. And I have no idea why the cat just ran that way. What is she doing? So Maul is in the process of putting it in his backpack and he'll throw it over to a flask of wine. <laughs> so uh, you'll see this Minotaur plushie come flying at flask of wine and she will uh, uh, like kind of uh, start to grab it and sniff it. And then you also see uh, River Mist also like kind of grab it. So now they're, they're kind of fighting for it. And uh, it rips in half. And a bunch of catnip pops out. Oh, oh shit! This could not be in. Oh god. Uh, He's so the fucking way. So yeah. <laughs> oh dear lord. So the cats are down. I don't know so You guys handle everything. We have some things to discuss here. Master G is just gonna step away from the cats. She does not want to deal with them. Quick, uh, go yeet the plushie off the side. <laughs> and I bet ten minutes have probably passed since I cast Shield of Faith. Since I cast yes. that during the face hugger thing. Uh, I am going... What's a good spell? Uh, I'm going to cast Bless on myself, Stell, and... I don't want to give it to Knight. He, he's... It, Face, feet, face first into uh, plushy. I'm going to give it to Arkin. Okay. Chat screwed me. They made the damn thing have cat in it. Oh, I really was wondering, like, what just happened? Like, is that universal in D&D all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> Special item. Uh, River Mist is... Uh... Face first into the cat. <laughs> uh, but the screeching does continue, and then uh, you hear like a, a, a deep, like a, a deep cry out, like uh, one you haven't heard before, and all the other screeching stops. Uh oh. Sounds like the kitty pissed off the big guy. Good job, kitty. I know that nothing is going to come down this hole, but I'm going to ready my action in case something comes down this hole. Go for it. I don't know how to back here, but I'm still ready in action. And You're I'm not listening. Now kind of like looking both directions. So I'm I'm ready in action either way. <laughs> yeah, we're being like super cautious. I don't know. How does Pat know? I'm not by Pat, so I don't know how he knows. <clears throat> and uh, she's going to continue and her tail's like flapping back and forth. Like she's very happy. Uh, I'm doing the same with Aachen. I'm just looking at Aachen, looking, looking around, looking back at Aachen. <laughs> I guess we're just going to wait. So 
So Seven Up is going to. I keep taking it off. Um, go invisible and go outside to see if they are coming down from the outside. All right. So from where Seven Up is, um, you know, you got moonlight, um, but he does not see them coming down. Or not see anything coming down. Okay. Okay. What do I have to roll for this damn cat? Uh, give me a concept. Oh God. I have never wanted someone to fail more than right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> your wish. Yeah. So you, you <laughs> face first in this cat nom 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 nom. nom. Like, I'm, I'm around in it like my cat does, just on my back, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, it's so good. I love this. Yes. And then you see uh, River, River wanting to pounce. The brother wants to pounce me? Uh, not, uh, not River, I'm Flesk, so she wants to pounce. Uh, Stell, we may need that room in a moment. <laughs> She's going to look at the cats, about to get frisky, and go, nope, and start climbing up the chimney. Yeah. Uh, what do I need to roll for, it for uh, climbing? Athletics. All right, give me a second. Yeah, yeah you great. Right. Yeah. Um, da -da. So your movement is 30, so you can get the a little over halfway, or you can dash and go all the way. I'm just gonna go halfway up. I'm going to take my sweet time and not, and I want to be fresh and ready for the neck when I get out. Okay. So I'm halfway up a chimney. Oh, yes. ho, ho. <laughs> um, he is getting upset because the catnip is uh he's not getting as much catnip as he wants um i will continue readying in action in case a enemy comes down that staircase I'm actually gonna move back down this way still ready in action just in case something comes from behind us. Okay. I blame your chat for this. I'm sorry. Like, why did you agree to it? <laughs> it's so <laughs> mean to me. <laughs> um, let me see, me roll her. Oh god, I'm getting, I'm getting pounced. Uh. She starts to, and then kind of like stops and and kind of looks around. And you know how cats like are very protective of them, so she'll start looking around like this is hers. Uh, the only way up is the other way, so I guess I'm I'm like scared to go in the middle of all the cats. <laughs> Come join me. <laughs> and you do you, you do come up behind her and she flips around really quick and pisses at you. Like, oh. come the Bro, there's giant dinosaur thingies up there. Focus. Focus. Because we're going to be trying. like three people. No, try harder. Slap uh, her. Just slap her hard. <laughs> no, because then they're going to attack me. I don't, you don't mess with cats on cat, dude. I guess I'm just going to get... Just walk away, man. Just walk away. <laughs> I, I'll get to right here. If I can get through it all, I'm going to get to right here. And... <laughs> Just stepping like, like landmines. Don't, yeah. Don't touch them. Ready in action. For <clears throat> comes this Dark beast, you are evil. So I'm going to... Um... Close my eyes and be watching through 7-Up. Watching, checking, see, against, listening and f for the sound of their wings or their 
noises they make. How far uh, can uh, Seven of fly away from you? As long as he wants, but I only have um, communication with him within 100 feet. Can you give me a perception check for 7-Up, please? All right, so 7-Up does, uh, would see um, some dark shapes, like two two more dark shapes. Uh, you can't make them out, but they're about the same size as creatures you have already fought uh, flying towards the tower. <laughs> Are they uh, specifically coming toward this entrance or just toward the tower from a distance? Towards the tower from a distance. And knights, I need another kind save from you, please. <laughs> Hell. Yep. Yep, you are still enthralled in the cat doing what cats do. Can I try to make my way to this empty room? <laughs> To the sure, but you want to just crawl and just like put myself in a corner. <laughs> this is a bad trip. I did not like it. Yes, you were tripping out to a very. Uh, I don't know what cats see when they're on catnip, but uh, this is what you were seeing. The last That's time ours was on catnip, one of them was licking the carpet. <laughs> Master Cheese is finished. Gonna climb the rest of the way up the chimney. All right. So, are you gonna climb boots or just poke your head up? I'm gonna climb up, kind of poke my head, see if uh, I see anything. I should see things. All right. So, poking your head up. Uh, you don't have dark vision. You have the candle, so you can see. I don't mind using disadvantage for uh, for perception. Yeah, give me a perception with disadvantage in the tower. Come on, that one. Uh, so, cheese, you do. Uh, so there is some light coming up from here, because this is actually a building uh, with an entrance, so you see some light coming out of that, and uh, you see you would see like two or three dark shapes kind of like uh, floating up in the air um, coming from your left coming from over there. Alright, I'm climbing out the rest of the way. Okay. So Doc, climbing you owe me an advantage to, to get rid of this con so I can get up there and help cheese. Uh, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Make a floating uh, fly swatter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to throw it there. Uh, that, and that's second level. Oop. And I'm going to, for my action, ready my glaive to attack anything that comes at me. Okay. Um, let me see to this. So I'm basically ready to fight anything that comes my way. Okay. So Come on, let's get this shit over with. You yeah. You would, let's see, so we got... Yeah, I, I bet I, I can see the silhouettes of these. Oh, like absolutely. That. So this guy... Oh, you you can't see the silhouettes. Uh, I but... would have tried to use the spiritual weapon to kind of hit anyone. One of, one of the silhouettes I would have been able to see. Okay, but so you, you would have... have any. Right, yeah, you wouldn't be able to see anything from where you're currently at, except for the silhouettes. Um, if you want to, so you can move it. Uh, you can put it right there. Like, right move it over one. Yeah, if you move it one, then you can hit. Uh, just right. roll the roll the attack uh, in chat. Not a great one, but 
That is good enough. That would hit. Uh, roll the damage on the self-observed late work in the um, combat tractor. Slap. Uh, slap. Uh, slapped him right in the leg. <laughs> uh, so now, kind of almost dive bombing you. While well, he is dive bombing you from the south, uh, he's going to fly down really quick. And as my ready action, I'm going to stab this guy as he attacks me. Yes. Not great roll, but oh well. All right, so he's going to uh, try and bite you. Cool. And then claw you. Should have done the uh, increase my AC instead of the uh, the bless. Oh well. And then he's going to call you one more time. Ooh. I see wouldn't help for that. And that is his turn. Uh, so this guy, he's going to just, with his little, uh, his, his ginormous legs, he's going to come over here and we'll also try it. Two bites and claw you. You live, bro. <laughs> he did not skip leg day. <laughs> and then he's going to fly up 50 feet. So if you want to give him an attack, you can do so. A two hits. Huzzah! Alright, so now he is 50 feet up in the air out of your line of sight. And I just noticed that we've been doing this for a minute. So let's uh, take 10 and come back up to the top of the air, please.
Bam. Bam. All right, you bet. Okay. Uh, so, River Mist. Uh, hmm. uh, so he will kind of stop and do like a little halfling and puffing, like, oh, that was good. And then he's kind of like sit down and starts uh, like cleaning his paws and his face. Just want to point out, Power I saw cheese go up the chimney a while ago. <laughs> that he did. All right, so, um, I mean... I don't know if cheese is up there is the question. Like that's the main problem, right? I have no idea where cheese is or what cheese is doing. Oh, you saw cheese climb up the chimney. Yeah, you, you saw it. The yes, chimney. but cheese is also unpredictable enough that cheese could also just stick in che the middle of the chimney and sit there. Like, this is fair. This is fair. <laughs> this is the point. This is truth. Truth. <laughs> oh God. Um. Who knows? You might and actually I, pop out of the entrance. I have point. very, very little light. I am blind. I don't have dark vision. So here we are. Uh, I will hold a ready action. If other people begin to go up, then I will follow. But uh, past that, that is. I want to go up, but I'm a little busy. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm still holding here just in case, but if I hear or see, or, yeah, or don't hear anybody else in the other room, I'll follow suit, but for right now, I'm hanging tight. Okay. She is against two Donos. Let's see who wins. Um, Knight, did you get my message? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Totally. Okay. I mean... So you will see, uh, flask of wine so she will stop uh, hissing and then uh, she will come up over here and say hello and um, that is uh, that uh, still definitely over PG-13 anyway uh, uh, nah, I don't know yet I'm just trying to make a difference uh, <laughs> still go up and then I'll also call out uh, Arkin and let Arkin know that I am going up too, just in case. Are you going to go all the way up, or are you going to dash to get all the way up, or just go halfway? Um, I want to use my mobility card that isn't no longer in my thing for some reason, but it would let me dash as a free action all the way up, so I could still use an action. Okay. Uh, so you pop up. Um... So the self-absorbed guy is 50 feet up in the air. You see Cheese at fighting the Etzfalt Uncouth Jaunt. And with your dark vision. Oh yeah, I got some of that, I forgot. You would see some more. You can see clearly now. Oh, there's nothing around, we're cool. We're good, no worry, Cheese. We're oh good. no, hey. Now there's a dino that flew straight <laughs> up. I think that's an issue. I also got this bugger right here. A candle that never goes out. Yeah, we're burning candle. So the compulsive attitude uh, is also 50 feet up. And then uh, the... Unusually ropey guy uh, is about 30 feet up. Might need to get the others to come up here. I can, I'll call I can down so like, up. <laughs> I'll call down. I'm like, I need ranged people to fight these flying beasts. Uh, but... So I can hit either one of these. Oh, he has a glade. That's fine. Uh, you I mean, cannot I get the self-absorbed legwork. He is 50 feet up. Alright, well... I will go 
to right here, and I will ready an action for whoever dives down to attack. I'll attack. One's on the ground right now. Yeah, oh, I thought he said works this. on the the oh, at fault uncouth jaunt is uh, on the ground. I'm going for that guy. Yes, yes, sits right on the edge. Nice. Oh yeah, I gave you bless. Yeah, I was like, oh, I got extra dice. Sweet. All right. Hmm. I was gonna get rid of the bless too. All right. <laughs> and then, um, for my reaction, if anyone attacks cheese, I'll give them disadvantage with my protection. That's my turn. Okay. And you do realize you are right on the edge of this, correct? I will hold on to cheese. As <laughs> I don't really, I mean... Jesus has no qualms I think we're letting go on a friend who is about to die. <laughs> I'm throwing that out there. Jesus will not worry one bit if uh, if you fall. Well, if I can't move back over, I'll block the hole. I mean, I have some little movement. It doesn't matter where I go. So this guy, this, this guy isn't there. He's 50 feet up in the air. Well, I don't want to overlap, so... I mean, like, so if I you guess... want to just go... Go right. Yeah, I'll go right. Next I'll go right, right here. I just don't want to overlap your token. So, all right. So I'm going to move him over here for now, but he is you're directly underneath of him still. Basically. Okay. Uh, well, and that fault isn't in a square. So I'm moving up and starting to climb up. There we go. Um, are you going to go all the way up or halfway? It's 50 movement to get up. Correct. I'm going to go all the way up, and I'm going to use one of my inspirations. They were talking about a rope. Did they ever put down a rope, or is it just flat athletics? Uh, flat athletics. It's super easy. So. Yeah, you're able to get all the way up. Dashing up. All right, and he's going to do the same thing. He's going to fly up f from where he is. So that will just put him over there. In the, uh... Yes, I'll get to go uh, He'll be like right, right about there or something like that. Yeah, looks good. And he's going to be, I'll just move him over here. He's going to be 10 feet above there from 10 feet from that ledge. Okay, uh, and then since seven ups there, he would also see uh, a skinny one of these guys. So I'm all better now. I'm hoping. Uh, roll another con. So I'll whisper well, to stealth. Well, now. well, you do have you do have inspiration from Thick Matty that you can use to get advantage if you want. It's fine. Just go to what you were doing. I know exactly what was happening. Uh, add that advantage to your sheet as well, or add that inspiration to your sheet. Just because I marked it. Already did. The... Okay. Cool. Already. Mole whispers to stealth. There's another one behind those bushes, straight Mark ahead of us. Is it asleep like the other ones were, or is it awake? Oh no, these are all awake. The uh, fly swatter is gonna swat the un uncouth ja jaunt, and I'm gonna stab it with my glaive. Oh come on, coffee, kick it! And a hit. Stab. All right, where's the other one? I'm gonna start walking forward, stand next to Stell, and move the fly swatter next to me. That was a bonus, that was an action. Okay. All right, so this guy, he's he was right above uh, you and Stell, um, so he's going to come dive bombing. Uh, one and two will be cheese. Three and four will be for sale. I imagine he's still probably pissed off at Cheese, so I I wouldn't I'll, oh. I don't blame him to attack Cheese. Oh, right. he he's totally going to fly out. So he's going to be now. He's going to come 
Yeah, he's, he's dive bombing and he's going to land right here. I'd be and, able to give him disadvantage with my reaction. Yeah. Um, so he's going to bite. Did those of us inside the cage, did we hear that you said there was a larger, different cry? Yes. Hear that? <laughs> yes, there were. Yeah, you, you guys would have heard it down below. And then can I throw the disadvantage on? Just let me know. Yeah, I already did. Oh, okay. I wrote, yeah. And then he's going to claw the cheese. And we have seen no indication of what that is, correct? Well, no, you have not yet. Uh, but why does he roll it again with disadvantage? He should not have rolled with disadvantage this time. I'm just that good. I mean, I'll still take it. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck it's wrong with his finish. Does he have any abilities on him? Uh, he does not. I, I don't have anything on me that's causing disadvantage. I'm move him here and try it. Oh, I know why. Okay, so yeah, he's going to claw you two times. I kind of call BS on that last hit, but okay. Well, they both, the first two roll with disadvantage. What are the higher ones on both rolls? Uh, the higher one was a 17. Yes. And the other one. And then now a 17 to plus four, so that would have been 21. Um, and then this other attack would have been an 18 plus four, so 22. That's why I'm just re-rolling them. All right, no problem. It would have hit me either way, so... Okay. Holy, Azeal is massive now. Uh, I don't know what, what happened. I don't know, your camera just got huge. Uh, it also screwed up all of my overlay cameras. That's very annoying. Did you change the setting? I haven't touched anything. It don't know. Um, so this guy will fly over. So he will, he will sorry, so he's going to fly over. Uh, and he's going to dive bomb Mole. Oh, terror dive. Oh, yeah. Dude. And then that will also uh, frighten you from his dive bomb. Oh, well, it's called Terror Dive. Oh, that's loud. Alright, so what that does, it will uh, frighten you until the end of its next turn. And then it will kill you two times. So yes, he is right there. Hovering. River Mist. Uh, he has get, regained his composure. Um, he's going to look around. And then he's going to find 15. And then he will climb up the other 15 and then he will dash for 30 so that is 45 so he's like at the edge of the thingy just blocking the path he actually is yeah hello i'm here to get in your way <laughs> uh this guy he will uh, also fly over uh, and then he will attack the flyest water and then he's going to come here and we'll dive bomb the cheese or terror dive the cheese <laughs> hits the ground hits the ground oh, yeah, that'd be awesome 
Oh, we can't sit today. Cheese is just standing there like, meh, 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 meh. I, 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 like I said, I just like to imagine she's just standing still, just going, meh. And the, and the pterodactyl just going like, die, die, why can't I hit you? <laughs> If my All god right. is declared, uh, if I am to die, then I will die. It is at this time that Pat Rug will come up, I guess, seeing that everyone else has gone up. Uh, I will use my movements. Uh, it'll be 10 feet to get there, uh, 15 feet to get up to the opening, so that's all of my 25 feet. Uh, and then uh, 20 feet of climb speed extra with a dash action. Uh, are you able to get past River Mist? Because he, uh, he's 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 from the ledge. Fifteen twenty. That's thirty-five feet. Okay, so no. No, no, no. I can only get twenty feet up the chimney this turn. Oh. Yeah. So. Uh, I've oh, got I thought, I thought you were dash. I, I thought you were dashing. I did dash, but I've only got a twenty-foot climb speed. Yeah. So fifteen feet. To uh, kind of climb up the uh, because it took ten feet to get there, fifteen to get up, and then uh, another twenty, so okay. that's thirty-five feet. Mm, sorry, my dash would be up? my dash would be twenty-five feet, so I've got five more feet of movement. I move over to the hole. This will get me thirty feet, and then how how far up can I go if I'm dashing? Yeah, you can double your movement so you can go another 30 feet. But I can't pass anybody else that's in the... Correct. Uh, you'd be right behind Petrog. Okay. Chuck, just use your right. action. Throw the frog up. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> throw the frog up. Kick him. Utah. Um, so this guy, let me see if he can see, uh, 7 up. Oh, wait, no, 7 up's invisible, right? So, he, yeah, he yeah, correct. Even, oh, yeah, he cannot see him. Yeah, he would not have seen him. Uh, well, so so at 20. I see a, I see a glimmer in the air. So he's here now. Um, if you want 7 up to have an op attack, he, oh, wait, no, he's only 10 feet up, so he wouldn't get it. Um, so he's 30 feet up, and he's actually going to hover here and start doing some screeching. Shut up, bird! Uh, Flask of Wine is doing things. So. <laughs> doing things. <laughs> uh, is the self-absorb, is he low enough to attack or no? Yes. All right, that's who I'm going for. Next time on Evenings with Night. <laughs> Damn, I thought it ended. All right, that's, that's all I got. Do better. You don't have you, any bonus actions. You got nothing else. I literally have nothing else because I no. used every all all spots previously, so I got nothing. Man, Jamal's gonna crouch down. Up against this wall and put on some armor. All right. And as you, uh, since you're over here now, it is extremely hot. As, and you can look in uh, and looking. Uh, or, well, are you going to look in or not? I guess I should ask that. No, he's, he's frightened and terrified of this thing. He's just cowering down. Um, he is putting on armor of winter, so it's not quite as hot. Yeah, it's uh, it is warm now. Seven up is gonna zip underneath everybody and just come over here. Still invisible. Come on, knight! I see. I expect you to fail. I mean, succeed. Another con save, I'm guessing. No, no. Uh, I'm out of the throes of passion, then. Uh, yeah, uh, you're a cat, so, you know, the stamina and all that. So, yeah, you're good. That was a lot of stamina. 
Uh, so I'm not going to like. I'm going to be like. I think they need me. I will be back. Uh, yes. Bye bye. <laughs> Uh, and then I will move and I will look up the hole uh, behind Aku and then the, how are we doing up there friends uh, can I get to the top at all it sounds chaotic yes. up there <laughs> working on it eh, it's not too bad up here uh, take your time so if the the things are way bigger than we are, and so you said the chimney's quite big, is there a way to use my action to to dash and feline's grace to ridiculously make my movement and get to the top and shoot out of the hole like a fucking cannon? So you would have, well, that would have been what forty to get where you're currently at. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Okay, so you only have 30 feet. So, yeah, you'd have to dash. And Feline's Grace, both. And Feline's Grace. Let me double check. So I would have an action at all. Oh, I'd, uh, so I, would, I would just be like popping out. I was like, hello. hello. It, would take, it, it would take an action to dash. Uh, okay, so... I, so I would just so I'll just sit down the hole and wait till they clear it. Then okay. hurry up, hurry up, my friends! I, it sounds like Cheese could be in trouble. All right, and Cheese, you already used your healing cheese potion that I did trouble. not give you. So yes, go ahead. Okay, decisions, decisions. First thing, I'm gonna stab it with a glaive. What is with the? T D10 and constantly giving me twos. The twos! <laughs> Alright, so keep the bless on. Raise my AC or just attack with a spiritual weapon. I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna slap this uh, guy with uh, with my flask water. And a one! Huzzah. Huzzah to the one. I got a second one. We only three more to go. Pro well, probably no way. They, they said there was eight. Yeah. Five more to go. No, no, I, I got killed one. Four. I killed one. Remember, <laughs> four to go. Yes. Yes. First thing numbers. <laughs> Seven forty-two. Hi. Blue. Omaha. <laughs> Hi, Jim Carrey from uh, uh of, of Ace Ventura. So this guy's like man, and tries to claw mole, but mole's just so sturdy, and he's no longer frightened. Uh, River Mist will say, "Sorry, my friend. Sorry, sorry, sorry." And he will pop out. So he takes ten damage when uh, he is, when he hits me. Okay. Uh, do you have that, or should I just add it to him? Yes, I have it. That's cool, bro. Is that 10 damage? Bro? And it's cold if it matters. It does not. Okay. Um, so, yes, he's like, man, caca. Um, and this guy will pop up, uh, look around, and see this guy attacking his friend most. So, he will drop his short bow and yank out his short sword and will attack. Uh, one and two cheese, three, four still. It will be cheese. I'll put disadvantage on that. The next attack. It but misses. At the amount of times that they've missed cheese, do they think that it's just made of metal? Like it's not even human? I have no idea. This old lady takes a beating. She really does. 
like at that point any monster's frightened of this old lady like they just like they, they, they regale tales of this old lady that just keeps uh, getting beat on and doesn't take any damage uh i've finished climbing up the shaft strange uh <laughs> I have nothing else to do at this point. Uh, dash action to get my way over uh, this way. And pass. All right, so I make the rest of my way up. Do I have the ability to move once I'm up? So you would have been there for 30, 20, yes. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just move here. Can I still take an action or no? Yes. All right. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? Uh, you see these three, uh, you also can see inside of this little uh, tower. Actually, you know what? I don't think I ever told you the layout of this place. Um, so I apologize. So up here, the spire's pinnacle is flattened roughly 40 feet square. The edges are crumbling away, which pet is on an edge. Uh, it wouldn't be safe to stand too close to any of them. Vines and little brush grow in profusion. Bones and scraps of meats from dozens of creatures are scattered everywhere. A crumbling stone tower rises another 30 feet above the northern corner of the platform. A roaring flame floats in the air, hovering above the tower. Tumbled debris from the tower is heaped around its foundation. Three humanoid creatures, while well, you already see those creatures, um, they were eating the last bits of scrap, but you don't have to worry about that because we are already in this victim. All right, so I see this one hovering above. I'm going to take a shot at it. Okay. Did that hit? It did. Awesome. Shoot ha! Shoot ha! Okay, already. <laughs> Clever girl. Um, so the skinny guy, he's going to, uh, after he gets hit by the crossbow, uh, will fly over the 30 feet and then will dive bomb or terror dive Hawkins. Okay. Mother. And that, that would have hit, that would have uh, hit me. So thank you for taking that. And then that will, uh, that does frighten you. Oh, no, I have something for that. Where is it? It's in my notes. I have a card for that. Yeah, I got good cards, but nothing to help out in this situation. Shake it off. I have shake it off. Um, okay. By Taylor Plus, Swift? Yeah, right? <laughs> no. Um, it says you have one, two, three, four, five cards. You can only have three. Um, I only have three cards. It says you have, did you hear that? Times two, a moment, a respite, shake it off, and time out. I should only have one, did you hear that? And then shake it off and time out. That's what I said earlier. Like, I lost, like, two of my other cards. I just remember uh, I had no ability. So make a, in, in the notes, uh, once you, when you roll new cards, make a note and uh, drop that link in there. Um, let me find this card real quick. Yeah, I just checked mine as well. It had removed uh, blend in blend ends on my bar, but it wasn't in my notes. So it had removed it from my notes for some reason. Okay. Alright, so shake it off. Takes yeah. away that's frightened. 
So how do I take that out of my notes then? Uh, I wanna, you can just add backspace. Okay. Yeah, because I had Wheel of Fortune on mine, but it's not there anymore. Kill me. <laughs> Good job, Pat Rock. Um, I wanted to get rid of the. I wanted to get rid of the. Uh, the. Whatever one, the brains card, the the awful one. Brains. Uh, Flask of wine. Um, you guys can't see her, but she's just kind of laying there smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Still. Uh, is there, are both these guys ground level? Uh, yes. All right, I'm just gonna go. I guess I'll just go for the the rope. That bless that... has been saving us so hard. Yeah. <laughs> but the damaged rolls are not good. Yeah. All right, so he's no longer frightened. And you have advantage from Caesar. Yay. Thank you, Caesar. 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 Dang it, we clicked it oh, at I'm the same time. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. I got it. A bunch of people next to me, so I can't do plan A. So I'm going to go with plan B. And I don't like plan B. Let's go to plan shoot B. this guy. Since I will have disadvantage, but because of Caesar, that evens it out, so it'll be a straight roll. Try to blast him. In the eldritch way. Anyways, that's your blessing. Alrighty, so that was a hit. Little eldritch blasty blast. I'm not the only one that's having an issue with the D10s today. Give me a second to get out of the hole. <laughs> Alright, so seven up's gonna move around over there and get ready to shoot next turn. Oh, okay, so Feline's Grace. I'm gonna I'm get up there as quick as possible. Do I need to roll anything? Uh, Feline's Grace. Let me double check something right quick. Uh, is your climb speed the same as your movement speed? <laughs> I've never played as a Baxi, so I've, I'm legitimately curious. Yeah, so so you can climb up there. Uh, you can't use feelings grace because uh, I do believe you don't get that back until you stand still. Uh, for... And I did stand still. I stand still. Uh, I was standing still in the uh, room where I was being molested. <laughs> yes, but you did, I thought you. I thought you used that. No, no I didn't time. use it last turn. I just, oh, I okay. just I just dashed to get where I needed to be and then wait. All right, there you go. Yeah, he wanted to, but we couldn't because there were too many people. Yeah, too many people clogged the hole. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, so how much would that leave me? Uh, it would have been 50 to get up. Uh, you had to move over, so it would have been 55 feet is what you moved. So you would have 60 feet, right? Uh, well, it depends. Well, not with climb. It would be 40. So oh, 40, yeah, sorry. To be half out, uh, I would have to. I would have to dash, but then I couldn't do anything. Cunning action dash. Well, yeah, that's right. But, uh, cunning action to dash to get the rest up and just get up here to this thing. Because I, I want. Is it in the air? Because is it? No. Okay. Because <laughs> I just want to get these things killed as quickly as possible. You just want to stab. Yes, yes, I do. It's sneak attack, right? Hey, isn't yeah, yeah? Isn't this the one that uh, that saw me stab his friend? It is. <gasps> Yay! Hello. Okay, and then dead. 
damn it. <laughs> I almost got you. I see you, Chad. I see you. I see you going insane. All right. Uh, I'm going to have the fly swatter. Actually, I'm going to use my gla- glaive. My glaive. Yes, I'm going to use the glaive. To stab. Never mind. I got the nat one out of the way. He is unusually ropey. Are they really bringing Clyde back? I will. With a critical hit. So, so a giant so has to attack the party. He can attack the dinosaur. A giant fly swatter swats the dinosaur man, and that's my turn. And that one. Oh lord! Oh, so this guy, he's going to bite and attack, uh, bite and claw onto mole. Is it me, or does anyone else feel like that? Like there's a dirigible that just launches Clyde out, like it just flies by and just drops him, <laughs> or launches him into the forest from a cannon, just trying to get rid of him, and he always returns. Nice, I'll take him out. You dude, that's my my vendetta. Nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, you guys hear a loud boom uh, from the ground. <laughs> of course. And uh, a few a few moments later, uh, you hear you hear this sound again. <laughs> and um, looking up in the air, floating down on our parachutes, is our our good buddy Clyde. Just so you know, Ingrid, that you should look up the, uh, the the monkey pet they give you for the rescue and uh for uh recruit friend on wow the one that's dressed in the expedition gear would be perfect for this <laughs> take a look at him um and he's as he's floating down you do see him uh uh reach reach behind him once again and we have six friends so we will roll a d6 and uh what's gonna happen no don't even because you know it's gonna be me one two three four so it's Aachen. um you get smacked right in the eye uh, with uh, with some feces, and you are blinded for one round. Again, I'm gonna shoot that monkey the next time I see him. Blinded by the shit. <laughs> and there he goes. Um. <laughs> and River Miss like, damn, that damn monkey. Uh, so he's going to stab at compulsive. Attitude. Stale, your monkey friend just left. Don't you want to give him a hug? Right, give him a tight hug. Tight hug right around the neck until he if goes limp. If I could limp. call him, I would drop everything and just go after the monkey without fighting anything else. <laughs> Do it. And he, uh, River does step there for a second, and he's like, ooh, hot, hot, hot. And then he'll back away right quick. And then the skinny guy will get an appetite. Fucking <laughs> monkey. Blinded by the shit. I said, did I cover Stell last time in Booth? Every time, that's the first time I have not been attacked by the monkey in two times I've been pooed on. Right? Mole was super nice and cleaned me up because I'm a scrub. Tell Angel to stop interrupting game time. Oh, Pat Rook. All right, uh, I will rake this uh, this bolt against my skin and put some poison on it and uh, shoot a crossbow at the skinny terrafoot. And heat. And as it hits... It gets to make this and fails, oh, no. and then it takes this. Looks like the poop did its job. Good work, everyone. 
and then hop. <laughs> Pass. I'm just going to take this moment to pull out any water that I might have on my person. Wipe the crap out of my face. All right. Well, how many of the how many of these bastards did I'm we get? Just so pissed right now. We got more <laughs> in here, I'm sure. <laughs> Does she feel better now? Is she is she is she done with her revelry down there with her smoking? Uh, she is. <laughs> so she will start uh, walking like she owns the place. <laughs> And um, so from atop of this tower, uh, you hear that deep, booming voice. Oh, also, so be it. wait, I'd just like to point out that I rolled completely max damage on that last. Yeah, but you're saying <laughs> oh, shit, you did. <laughs> I was like, wait, 20 damage? What? <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, sorry. Continue. Not 20. <laughs> the odds yeah. of that are uh, very, very low. So. Yes, they are. Uh, so, yes, you guys will hear uh, a deep, booming voice uh, saying, so be it. And a deep screech come, crawls out as this guy comes flying down. And it's going to dive bomb Auken again. Or Auken. Well, F you. Disadvantage. Okay. Uh, well, could you see? Yeah, you'd be able to see that. Is this one different than all the previous ones? It is. So this guy, as he lands, uh, you see, you look and see him, and he uh, he's a little bit bigger, and he has a large scar across uh, across his face, and uh, some of his wings are his, one of his wings is scarred up too. Found his Simba's boy. dead. Simba's dead, yes. So then he's going to attack Spocken. And then he's going to attack Stell. And then he's going to attack Cheese. Ah, I is see. Four? Is that four attacks? It is. And then I'm going to use my Goliath Stone's Endurance to shake off some damage. Okay. Uh, did you hit the heel? Oh, hang on a second. I just killed it. <laughs> there we go. Not bad. And then he's going. He's looking at you all menacingly. Ah, humbug. <laughs> right. Uh, so earlier on, we had a... Oh, he's a big dude. There's no point in that. I know how this works. No. Never mind. I'll just move. I feel like I'm in a good spot. I'm going to stay right here. Take Barbara. <laughs> I'm going to take Barbara for his pay. Get Go Barbara! Hey, I'm okay with that. That's all I got. Barbara's got a little bite. I know, right? All right, so Maul is going to. Actually, he's just going to wait. Hide up, lean up against the wall, make himself as small as possible. And 7 Up is going to shoot him. Okay. Jeez, you got that song of my stuck in my head now. God dang it. <laughs> Sing it while I'm just here. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, <laughs> and he did, he, he failed 13. Three. Oh, yeah, he DC. failed it. it. was by five. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, uh, he takes one point of damage. Which is Max, but he's poisoned, and he's now unconscious. 
good. All right. Oh. Uh, don't forget to apply those. Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on a second. Can we roll him off and just like splat on the ground? <laughs> and we have to go and loot his corpse. As long as he doesn't do take damage. Thing. Down. To be fair, why don't we? Just as long as he doesn't take damage, we can do it. We can tie his. We can bind his legs and his feet. And all uh, the rope. How high are we? Is the question. We are currently three hundred feet above. Oh, okay. It'll do a little damage. Tie falling Push him off. max. Falling max is sixty feet around. Six times. Okay, cool. He no, won't wake up true. by the time he hit the ground. Because if you use feather fall, feather fall slows you to sixty feet around. I want Pat to do it. I want Pat to say that we're civilized as we do it. <laughs> to be fair, though, if you if you roll him <laughs> off the edge, and because of his beak, he would just be like a giant lawn dart heading toward the ground. Oh, whoops! Five hundred feet per round. Sorry. Lawn darts are very dangerous. I did have them as a kid. I had it too. They weren't that dangerous as long as you didn't throw them at people. When you yeah. have a drunk bot throwing him in the air. Yeah. Anything else from Seven Up? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you cat. So he's asleep, right? Um, yes. So I'm going to move through these two. And then I'll have and then step right about there. Uh, all right. So as you step there, uh, are you stepping or are you stepping which side? Uh, no, I'm just stepping in, like like in to be able to look inside here. Okay. Are you uh, which square are you going to be in? Because you're between two right now. Okay. Cool. Uh, so as you come into here. <laughs> Uh, because it is extremely hot. He's pleasantly large. Um, <laughs> oh, he's on top. Actually, he's on top of the tower. But, what the uh, hell? Don't have to worry about that. Um, but you, you do have to worry about this. Uh, da -da, da -da -da. Uh, you, so it, since it's since it's uh, so hot in here. The sweat lodge, it can't be much hotter than a flask of wine down there. <laughs> wow. And your hair, and your, now your hair is all standing up on edge. Because it so is hot singed. and humid. Yes, and you are singed. A singed fluff ball. <laughs> I'm just going to walk. I'm just gonna take my action to to dash so I can just walk back out. It's too fucking hot. <laughs> Let's tie him up. Let's tie him up. <laughs> uh, and 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 I will anything I have left. I'm just gonna walk back out. Okay. All right. Uh, Master Cheese is gonna use some rope to tie up the Narak. So he is restrained. Uh, which would she, would cheese be able to tell which side of the tower we entered from? Well, how much rope are you going to use? Oh. He's a big uh, boy. He's to... huge and extremely strong. <laughs> just throw him off the edge. Yeah, yeah. just roll him off the edge, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, fair enough. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna use with the help of the sl fly swatter. I'm gonna try and just drag. I'm not gonna tie him up. I'm just gonna try and drag Narak over to the ledge. Uh, like I said, does Cheese know which side of the tower we came in from? Where the entrance is? It would be back behind us here. So that way. Yeah, yeah that would, that's where we would have come in. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try and drag Narak with the help of the fly swatter down over to the ledge and just kind of yeet him off the ledge uh, while he's asleep. Like flip a pancake off the side. Give me two seconds. Yeah. I'm I'm waiting for the for the skill check and I'm hoping I fail. Oh, it's I definitely gonna lie. be a skill check. I'm just double checking here. I won't lie. I, I'm if if I can get help with this, that'd be awesome. But otherwise, I mean, yeah. 
I would, I would, I mean, I'm sure all of us here would help. Because I'm not see, cause sure. Because I, I see that pleasantly large fellow right there, and I, I'm, I'm going to focus on this big guy. Because I'm not sure if the spiritual weapon can, can help move something. I, I it doubt can. it. I doubt it could. I doubt I, it. Yeah, I didn't think it could. I say stay uh, I, just, as, just as flavor, the fly swatters just going to kind of be kinda underneath it, trying to just scoop him up a little bit. <laughs> trying, to, trying to flip him like a fucking pancake. Yeah. It won't do anything, but still. Yeah, the, three, the three of us can definitely do as long as you can hold off on the dude inside. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not yeah. moving this guy. Uh, no. You kind of tickle his understand. All right, so long as he's not awake. Uh, I'm basically going to go, I'm going to need some help here. So I'm just going to try and help whoever... Uh, I'm just I'm going to be one body pull, trying to pull this guy over to the ledge. Oh, jeez. I would I would suggest that River and all of them help. Yes, River, uh, he's going to walk back around because F that heat. Mike, can you hold that entrance way by yourself? It'd be fine. Power. Uh, I mean, I can't really help drag this thing. I have zero strength. Well, I mean, I have a little bit, but not, not enough. Um... So I will rake a crossbow bolt. Can I? Do I have vision on pleasantly large Terra folk? No, uh, he is up in the air still. He's like thirty feet up. He's only uh, thirty and, feet up. Uh, yes, on the on the ledge. Well, you guys technically wouldn't have been able to see him. Like, yeah, he's, it would just be uh, just him because I walked in there. Correct. Oh, Basically, he's, he's inside the thing. thing. No, he's no, he's, he's on, on the he's on he's, he's on, on the yeah he's on top of the tower. But he would have been like uh, back from the tower. This he's he's fixing to come down next round. Okay, I guess I will hop over here. Is there anything over this way? Some more dress. All right. Well, I will guess I will ready my action if uh, something flies down into view, and I will have uh, raked a crossbow bolt through some poison to load it. Pass. Um. Really quick, Cheese. Did you tie him up or no? He is not restrained. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I will help move the big guy over to the edge. All right, let's see if you can do that. I would help. I would take my turn to help. Um, and I, I'm still trying to drag him, so I don't know if it would count as me helping. I'll give you advantage with that. Nope, there we go. You're a lot stronger than I am. <laughs> just oh, like and throw so. it. Just a <laughs> um, so, so which way? Are, so, cheese. What, what what way were you pulling? I was gonna try and throw him over towards the entrance. So once we leave this place, we can kind of loot his body on our way out. All right, hey, and then so Akin, you kind of like pull uh, pull him down. Uh, a square. Is he, I mean, he's still heavy. You can move him, but he's still freaking heavy. Uh, yeah. Just, or by the legs. Can, <laughs> I'm just hoping we can get him over the ledge before he wakes up and falls. <laughs> so it'll right. actually work. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll be it. All right. All right, so this guy, um, he would have popped over here, and then he's going to uh, fly down right here. So, Patrick, ready to action. Cool. 
That's a thing that happens. Uh, here's that thing. With a success. Let me double check. Uh, cool. And it is just the... And he is going to use his action to wake Narak up. Man. How would it know to do that? I'm just saying. Because he's sleeping. And he's surrounded by all you guys. <laughs> so this thing knows it's sleeping. He gets up and coward. It. So, he, so he's he's down like this sleeping and you guys are you guys are trying to pull him just um, if, if we can I'll, I'll even I'll even go this far and have him uh, attack him then just to double check I mean enemies aren't stupid at the end they're, of the day. They're, they're really not like and these it, guys it, are it, sentient creatures they're not dumb like <laughs> Let's so so if you take the time and take its pulse and verify that it is asleep, no, not he, just dead, it wouldn't he, know that. So he, all right. So what he's doing then, he's actually going to bite him, like, and so he took damage and bit him, and then that would wake him up. Is that is that uh, okay? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> all right. So flask of wine, so five. So, and then we'll dash so she will be on the sledge. Still prone. Because I'd like he to is. imagine I'm still trying to drag him. He <laughs> is. And and Aachen and uh Cheese both are both trying to are both moving him and kind of just wakes up and says, I don't think so. Uh and since Cheese and Aachen are both grabbing him, uh, one and two be Cheese, three, four for Aachen. Cheese it is. Yes, I know disadvantage. Don't even have to say it. Thank God it's Cheese. Ah, <laughs> uh, you would have taken that. And then Claw. Uh, oh, yeah, because he's poison. Let me roll this poison damage. And then one for stone. I like to imagine she doesn't even notice he's awake and she's just trying to drag him still. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm picturing. It's like, it's like, get off me! Whack, whack, whack! Yeah, it's just completely whiffy at every time. It's like, all right, let's drag this sleeping boy over the ledge. <laughs> My uh, conquering presence. Uh, hopefully they'll lose that way. They can't. They'll have fear on them. Do I roll fear on both of them right now, or is it when their turn comes up? R roll on both now. Why is your DC so What's it supposed to be? Uh, it says ten, but it's based off charisma. So I don't know why it's not. What's your charisma? Our Christmas is 15, and then it's a plus 2, so I don't know what's going on. So yeah, DC is... DC 12, they still both succeed. Yep. Yeah. I I figure it. I try and get that. I'll just... Yeah, I'll yeah. see what's up with that. Alright, that's, that's, that's all I got. I guess I'll move right here, so that way if anyone tries to attack, I can at least disadvantage, and that'll be it. All right, so sleep again. he's going to step away from the heat and blast at the big guy. He's going to turn invisible. And then fly away. Fly 
Fluffy Kitty. So are they both open, uh, awake or just one of them? They're both open. Oh, they're both awake. Well, uh, I guess we might as well. I'm just going to move up one. Let's see here since I am behind him. Make another rapier attack. Pretty sure I'm going to draw his attention. <laughs> uh, Just a little. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm going to take my cutting action <laughs> to disengage a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and just uh I didn't do it. He's not gonna know it was me. I just poke him and run. I don't think it's still. I <laughs> know. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's my turn. I see. Uh first things first, I'm gonna be a little upset that he woke up. So I'm gonna slap him with the fly swatter. Well, ice water just <laughs> slaps the floor, I guess. Almost slaps you. Almost slaps me. Uh, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity to take a few steps away. And I'm going to stab him with my glaive because I got 10 feet. And no point in putting myself in danger. That's that's uh, Stell's job. And I stab him. And you kill him. Bad dino. Uh, you were supposed to fall, and I was supposed to have a fun time. Oh, well. I'll eat your heart. heart. I'll eat your heart. Now you and can then, jump, um, now jump I'm gonna off take, it with him. Now I'm going to take, take, take a few steps closer and start looting him. I know there's another guy, but I'm going to start looting So River's gonna come charge and get him. Just jump off the edge with him. He's made a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I'm so tempted. Go I am tempted. Don't, yeah, don't tempt me. I'm willing. She is a perfectly logical woman. She will use the power of flight. All right, uh, Bolt. Through the poison. Hitting. Doing the poison save. It fails. I hit the damage. Do the 20. And now I do these. <laughs> you did it. You killed him. I did. You were for, for, for MVP. <laughs> Oh. I feel like Pat got like all the final kills in this whole session. And I, we're out of combat. I would you also like to Michael, point out that better. I am attacking with a weapon that I am not proficient in. <laughs> That's awesome. I have a plus three to hit. I knew Pat Rug would, would get it, so she's just looting. <laughs> to be fair, I'm just so glad I, I stabbed it with a lot of damage so someone could end it before it turned around. And like put Stella on the ground because I would have felt bad because I did the same thing to him with the crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking this up. Like, I remember this happening somewhere else. <laughs> Sense of deja vu. I mean, I stabbed it really hard and then I ran away and he walked up and he's like, I'm going to get you, Croc. Croc hates him. It's <laughs> just a matter of days ago, right? Yeah, yeah it wasn't like a day. It's been about it's a week, fun. right? We still have that key, don't we? Yep, we still we do key. have a key. So less than a week. All right. So on all these guys, uh, you find three platinum, sixty-nine silver, eighty copper, a small bag, a black velvet mask stitched with silver thread, one candle, one piece of chainmail, one component pouch, one dagger, one dart, a dead man's ring. Poor guy. Um, earrings of Volk, 
which uh, they are a pair of smoking quartz earrings flicker with illusionary lightning, perfect for cheese, uh, an elf finger necklace, an eye agate, a fishing tackle, two gold lockets with a painted portrait inside, hematite, a lock of hair, two malachites, two potions of healing, two quarter stabs, a quartz toy top, uh, one scroll, uh, sealing wax, skein of water, a spear, four torches, a wielding fork, and a wheatstone. Detect magic. Uh, so for the scroll, you can tell that it's kind of it's kind of a um, uh, like a uh, fuck. What is it? Uh, it is magical. It's kind of gives off like a, a frosty sort of uh, magic. Uh, I had to actually read up for that perfectly. Um, and then the two pushes of healing, which you already know what those are. What do they do? Does someone have any kind of create water it, or anything to put this fire out? No. Uh, we have water skins. I can't really walk in there. I mean... Look fine! Same. Good! Why do we need to go in uh, at all? There might be more stuff to find. I'm gonna look at the scroll. I wanna see what it does. Uh, so looking at this scroll... Uh, you are not sure what it does. I can't do arcana, kinda. Arcana. Arcana. Uh, Let me do some of the magic BS, because I have an education. I don't. I'm, 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 terrible. I'm terrible at arcana. I only got plus one. Yeah, you are not sure what it does. I'll take a look at it. What did you say was good for the cheese? The earrings. Uh, you th you're pretty sure that if it's uh, used, that uh, it would kind of shoot out some uh, some something that's cold. Does anybody else want the everlasting quill? Yeah, I think that matches you pretty well. I got my glove. I got my glove. Damn gloves. That fishing tackle. Talking to Mountain Man. Oh, the fishing tackle? Yeah, I'll take the block and tackle. No, it's fishing tackle. Fishing tackle. What's the block and tackle? Block and tackle is like a pulley system to help you when you need to move something really heavy. You just need to lock ropes through and... It's Let where it. when you block someone and then you okay. block someone from moving and then you tackle them <laughs> over a ledge. Linebacker does it all the time. I'll take the like fishing a tackle. <laughs> Who has the best? If we stand out here, can I see if anything of interest from where I where Stella is before I try to run in there and? scramble through everything and is this fire the fire that's at the very top like just protruding that we can see i think it's just the fire in the room because it's uh oh i thought the the picture the thing showed like a fire jettisoning from the top it, it does have one up there but I, I think this is much smaller i think this is just to keep the room warm because of the type of creatures they are we're at the top though aren't we yeah, but the tower—we're not at the top of the tower. We we could actually climb on top oh. of this roof. 
Oh, I thought this was the topic. All right. All right you just know all this stuff. You went here no, and got I just, burned. I just, you I just sat there watching. So why can't we go in that room? Is it just really hot? I'm a cat. It's very hot. <laughs> Yo, uh, Cheese, you want these two potions? You look uh, kind of possibly. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. You can <laughs> take them. Looks like we got a sky of water. You think we can do anything with that? Or do I need to use a scroll? I would just use it and just put out the fire. We can check out everything. Unless we need it for the top. It's DM, do we see like the fire? Is this the fire or no? I think he's. Yeah, you have him. He... We can't hear him. He's in... having issues. Oh. Yeah, it just keeps breaking. Yeah, because that's all I need to know if this is the same fire. Because if it is, we just put it out and maybe just like, how is a fire that big? Not like, not some kind of magical fire or something. I think we broke the DM. <laughs> <laughs> he just shatters. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> I can use prestidigitation to instantly snuff out a small campfire. I just do it a bunch of times. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> the- <laughs> <laughs> I say do that. Night is just, just going to just slowly shave the fire yeah. down. We gather around it real quick and just blow it once. You might as well go through the the party sheet and see what y'all want because there's a bunch of stuff we have never gone through the party sheet no we've gone through it it's just one of those most of it is uh uh treasure that we can sell or... well there's a couple of potions of healing in here i'm gonna grab those and keep them for the chain mail like that doesn't help anybody no True not bad. me i'm a rogue <laughs> I prefer not to have disadvantage on my attacks because none of my art because I don't have armor proficiencies. It's great. Oh, oh, oh better. So you lost everything. I've already got chain mail armor. I'm already. How close is uh, how close is it to the to the the storm coming up from the south? Uh, he's Where not close at all. Uh, Chad, uh, Chad is not in there. He, Chad's in uh, central, and central United States. Oh, I know, but like, like the bands of like actual uh, severe weather have like reached well past Arkansas. So. Oh, he's in uh, Illinois, I believe. Oh, <laughs> he's fine then. Yeah. Hey, you guys hear me? I wanna. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, sorry. I, I'm on my phone right now. Um, because my computer, I had completely shut down my computer. Um. So to answer your question, you guys could have seen things. Uh, you, you would have seen some. Uh, boxes and crates in that tower, um, but it is extremely hot inside. So, like the fire, though, is it the fire coming out of the roof that we saw from the distance, or is it just the fire from their like their lodge, basically? Uh, that would just been like one of their lodge fires. Okay. Yeah. So Why mostly either I from the fire, or is it just the room itself? Um. The room itself is just extremely hot, like that whole. Because there's that... no windows, right? It's right. They're all enclosed, so that's basically yeah. they made it a sweat lodge, basically for their body temperatures. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then the fire that's coming up down from up top—that's what's causing all that heat. Ah. So well, are we? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to use that scroll of create water if we're going to even loot that play- that room. So it's up to you guys. Also, uh, the game that. just crashed. So yeah, I'm. I, I had so I think this would be a good place to stop. Yeah, uh, I had to completely reboot my computer. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll pick it up next week from here. Uh, okay, sounds good. There's a few things. I'll, I'll, I'll post some things to you guys in Discord this week to see where you want to go next. Uh, uh, so does this count as a long rest on the top of here? or If you want to try and do so, you can well, certainly try. I mean, I mean, we're already in the middle of the night. Yeah, if you, I mean, we do a short rest if we don't do a long one. Right. I mean, yeah. we took out most of the dinosaur men, so 
It's one of those. We get more we'll, food we'll now. have more coming. I don't think is Pat Ray going to cut open those guys. No. <laughs> I didn't oh, think what? so. <laughs> It's not cannibalism. I have Bloody other day. I have other ingredients to cook. At the I, at the end of I'll the day, eat whatever right else now. he cooks, I, I don't want to eat what. Fine. I don't eat what they want to eat. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying we need to respect our enemies and use everything that they give us. I'm just These saying. I mean, it's like an animal. You you use everything you can. You get the pelt. You get the meat. But they're not animals. So wait a minute. They are precious. Are you telling me uh, Cheese is a leather worker who can make me a uh, Petrodon leather vestment? You can certainly try. <laughs> Killing that monkey and getting the pelt. Like, <laughs> I want a hat. Why would Cheese attack the monkey? The monkey has done nothing to her. <laughs> you guys are wanting to kill the monkey. Uh, Jesus is gonna defend the monkey. Uh, I've been. Uh, dead. Dead. Did you see the link I sent you? The uh, the picture of the. Uh, the oh, man. I got. I saw you sent me a message. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, uh, you'll you'll love okay. it. So are we ending here? Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll pick this up next week. Um, I'll send you a couple things. See where you guys want to go next from here. And I apologize for that last minute crash because it's kind of shitty because everything's still rebooting. Oh, I know how it is. Um, cool. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we will see y'all next week. Then. Appreciate yeah. your hard work and guard you. Thank you. Yes, As thank always, you. Thanks. I'll do your normal ending shout outs just so you don't have to worry about it. I know everyone right. does things, so you're good. Cool. <laughs> All right. We will see y'all next week. All right. Uh all right, uh, come and see us same time, same place next week to continue our Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, you can watch Marbanya's stream this evening. That is twitch.tv slash Marbanya if you would like to see Engorgio play some Deadlands. Uh, you can come see me on twitch.tv slash AzilDND if you would like to come watch some Descent into Avernus on Saturday evenings. Or some burn bright this evening as well, and I believe that uh, Sven uh, Sven has a game that he runs on Sundays. And Ageless Fate has some things going on as well. Make sure you go check out his channel and all of those good things. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. If we don't see you sooner, have a good one. <laughs>